way, way, way up. What is up, everybody? It's Dirk and JT back here to kick off our 2024 NBA 2K League season. That is season number seven for everybody else out there. And it's the Black Top Series, the Slam Open JT to kick everything off. First off, man, short it was the shortest offseason I think that we've had, but it felt like the longest. But we are officially back 3v3 action to kick the campaign off. You call it short, it still felt like a really long time. I miss you, I miss Darius, I miss Autumn, I miss Jasmine. I, I miss the team. I just love what I do. I'm just glad to be back. And of course, it is 3v3 first, exact same structure that we ended up seeing last year. So we'll have 3v3 over the course of the next three months. We'll have in-person play once we end up getting to the steal and the 3v3 playoffs. And then we will switch over to what the league was founded of. It'll be that five versus five. But JT, something big happened. I got to be a part of it. I missed you out there, myself and Autumn. We're at All-Star Weekend in Indianapolis for the for the first ever collaboration that we had in terms of NBA players actually playing the NBA 2K League build. Of course, we did have Royce O'Neal. He was at our All-Star event. But out here, we had Tyrese Halliburton. We had Tyrese Maxey. We had Micah Parsons uh, down there in Dallas. Laurie Markin and Jeff Teague. The stars were out and shining out there. What, what were your thoughts watching the event? Well, first, I was a little jealous because I am a diehard Cowboys fan. So seeing Michael Parks is there, I was like, ah, man. But Dave Fry is too, so I, I was happy for him. But just seeing their energy and seeing how bought in they were into it, it was just so dope to watch their energy, their passion. It was amazing, a dope event. I was happy to watch you all be out there. Yeah, we had Ryan Howard, the WNBA, Chelsea Gray, and then Obi Toppin was there as well. Uh, Cooks and him were, were kind of going crazy when they were playing together. A uh, nice little Pacer, Indiana Pacers and Pacers gaming going at it together. But I just loved how engaged everybody was, from the influencers to the NBA players to the celebrities that were involved. DJ Who Kid was a blast to work with. I mean, that, that man was hilarious. He might, honestly, he was like my unsung hero of the entire event was DJ Who Kid. Yeah, he was, he was uh, like, just the whole event as a whole. Like, I just loved everything from top to bottom. Like, that was our first time ever doing something like that. And it came out amazing. So, it was just a really dope thing to see. I made sure I was up for that. Sleep schedule was all over the place, but I made sure I was up for that one. <laughs> well, let's jump into the format, prize pool, all the stuff that everybody's so interested in. We got five groups of five pro teams, and the conferences are mixed. Seven amateur teams will make the bracket that'll be going down next week. And a best of five games per match and 10 points per match that you end up winning. But let's look at the timeline, how we end up getting to the spot. February 26th was when the amateur community close qualifiers were going on. We'll have group play going down this week. And of course, we jump straight into bracket play, JT. One of the major changes, one week of group play, two weeks of bracket play. And then, of course, the prize pool, $100,000 prize pool here in the slam open. First place takes on $30,000, second nineteen k. Third 14K, JT, I always get jealous of uh, this money that all these guys are making if they make some runs. Me too, because, you know, I used to actually be the guy who could make a little bit of some, some. I never made too much of some, some, but I used to make a little bit. But if you're not playing to make the most money, what are you playing for? Hey, that's why I think people are starting to take threes a little bit more serious now as well. Hopefully three years in. Let's take a look at the slam open groups. Maybe you haven't seen them just yet. There they are in your screen. I suggest screenshotting this. Anything that you have to do. I know they're out there on social media. But JT, the group that draws my attention the most is definitely group A. That is officially my quote unquote group of death here in the slam open. I, I like Group A, but I cannot take my eyes off of Group D. I feel like they have just so much you know you got two tech you got santa you got dandy you got cooks with the heavily defensive team like it's just i don't know like it seems like that might be the sleeper hell group just might be yeah well the one thing that we can both agree on is that every group is going to create some fireworks but let's get into the schedule how everything is going to look tonight and of course, we have games tipping off at 6 p.m. The feature one's going to be Bucks Gaming taking on Mavs Gaming. Going to be a fun matchup. Fanta Redemption season coming back here into the NBA 2K League. Next game's at 6.45. We got Kingsguard Gaming and Lakers Gaming. New looks coming out from both of those sides, especially at that guard position. Then at 7.30, 
B5 Warriors Game of Sword of 5v5 champions will go against our Steel Open champions from last year up there in Portland. Well, it'll be interesting to see what they run out with their lineup. Then Nets and Raptors, Greens versus Antoine Love down at 8.15. Then at 9 p.m., it's going to be that Knicks and Cavs matchup. Super excited to see how that's going to be, JT, especially, you know, some of the other stuff that we have seen with the Knicks there as well. But, I, I mean, I, I don't see a bad game on the schedule. I don't either. I feel like threes this year should be so much better because I feel like teams took care of business at the minimum at the draft and prepping for this mode. You know, it, it looks like some teams will use that ad drop period way more, but still, I like how they're, how they're taking threes much more focused on making money in both modes and not just one. There you can see below us, best 3v3 lineups. Um, I picked Pistons GT because I didn't want us to both pick Magic Gaming. You ended up selecting Magic Gaming. So those are the two that we are definitely looking out for starting off in three versus three. We'll see if it lives up to the hype. But some news, JT. Uh, we were so excited to see MDS play in three versus three. I mean, we waited an entire season for it. We thought we were going to get it right here off the rip. But it was announced by the NBA 2K League that MDS will serve a suspension for Hawks Talent GC's first game first series that they have in three versus three but the good news is by the end of the night we will see mds on the court because he is able to come back and play against Cavs legion gc so he has to sit out against greens and the nets so duck will go into the lineup but then against Cavs legion gc he'll have to go against killy that is two tough games for hawkstown to kick it off definitely two tough games but i'm not mad because i'm i only have to wait one series i waited a whole season and then when yes. he came in, he wasn't even playing guard. He went number one overall, wasn't playing guard. We only seen him just a little bit, and it wasn't even that guard. So now I only have to wait one series. So don't trip, Doug. One series. Just fight for one series. And after that, you can go prep for five. <laughs> well, of course, it's about that time, JT. So we got to do some introductions. Let's take a look at the starting lineup here for Mavs Gaming our 2024 season. Let's see how you do under pressure. Oh. Let's see how you do under pressure. Yeah. Let's see how you do under pressure. Give them a name to remember. Okay, okay. Hey. Let's see how you do under pressure. Yeah. Let's see how you do under pressure. A moment can live on forever. Okay, okay. One, video goes hard. Two, JT, Dave Fry, obviously back. That's the story that we've been tracking. But for me, uh, I'm excited for this Fanta Redemption arc that we are about to see coming from this. But, of course, they are playing Bucks Gaming. So let's meet the Bucks Gaming roster for this season. Oh, we, we got game. They go quick. I forgot. JT, I forgot. This is remote. They go fast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was a little shocked, too, because I'm expecting now the intro when we, we switched to it. Oh, look at this lineup. Is that the coveted dimes? I know he wanted to play threes last year. So bad. So bad. And now we get to see it. So I'ma say this and I'ma I'm a and I'ma I'ma stand on it. Dimes wanted to play this mode bad. So he has to show up. He has to show up. Yeah, we, we said like this is a, a, a matchup truly of two great storylines day fry finally coming back into the league his first game back competing is here in this one that you're seeing he's got fans as his guard jarcity a lot of questions maybe was he going to be locked was day fry going to be at the four how are they going to try to switch things around with this team but yeah dimes last time we saw him in a bucks jersey as fanta gets a three to go we saw him win a championship we didn't get a part two of this story we didn't get to see him play a single game of threes last year and now it's his debut finally stepping out here on the court back in this bucks gaming colors that's what I can say. Dimes had a really strong offseason. Great move by Jay Red. But Dimes had a really strong offseason going over to Sweden and winning that gold medal, being the starting center for Team USA. Dimes is taking strides to get better and better at that center position to show why he's one of the best in the world. So, like I said, in this mode, he wanted to play very anxiously last season. So I'm, I'm expecting him to really come out this year hungry. And I just didn't expect this to be their lineup. CP is one of those younger guards, so I thought he might be out here, you know what I'm saying, 2020s, bibbidi boo -bop, something, but, you know, get Red. Oh, my goodness, guard. flying out of bounds. There you go. And Johnny Red almost got it. Dimes will get the rebound and throw it back down. 
Yeah, I mean, uh, we, we all remember the hot start that CP had last year, where after week number one, we're like, okay, well, the Rookie of the Year race is looking pretty clear, at least after the first couple weeks of gameplay that we end up seeing. Uh, a complete new look in terms of the guard position. Johnny Red was at the power forward last year for Bucks Gaming. Now he's at the point guard position. Dawson's at the lock, and then Dimes at the four there as well. It, it'll it'll be interesting to see how this goes, but that is a that's a stacked lineup of gold medalist winners on the side of Bucks Gaming. Oh yeah, that that is three of their five starters. Three of their five starters were actually the, the start lineup. So it should be interesting. I just want to see how part two goes because it is two completely different pieces going from Cook to CP and then going from the best power forward in the TK League Super Seas to the rookie retro. Reminds everybody at home too, these are best of fives that are gonna be going down for every single series, exact same way as it was last year. Something we do have to touch upon JT, right? NBA 2K24, uh, entirely different game from kind of anything that we've seen with the introduction of pro play, all these different animations, uh, everything, the customization that all the players have in the league. One thing I've noticed about threes that maybe we're not gonna see, you know, in about three or four months when it comes down to fives, a lot more contested shots dropping down from what I've seen from players scrimmaging in this moment. That's the one thing I'll say. Heavies this year, they they have a skill gap. And then we also have the, the two bases in the game that make it the easiest, which is Patty Mills for the smaller guards and Trace McGrady for the bigger guards. So having those two bases in the game should make it, we'll see a lot of, as they used to say back in my day, JT shots go in this year. <laughs> No, I remember the whole debate on the timeline. I was just seeing it's like, should we have Patty in the league? Should it be here? I'm like, man, just get, give it, give everybody a base to where we just get some high scoring games. That's all I want. I want everybody to try to have the best opportunity to make it. But I've, I've been honestly, I've been like what I've been seeing so far from it. Yeah, it puts butts in seats. Who doesn't want to watch offense? Who doesn't want to watch offense? Oh, you can't get the shot to go. Johnny Red will get it. He and Johnny Red will take the shot. He can't green it. Look, Dimes look, will secure another look, rebound and throw it back down again. They're all wide open. They're all wide open. Like, like, look how they only have a slither of space, but they're all wide open. <laughs> all right, I'm not tripping, bro. I heard your mic. It sounded like a, a drive through for a second. My like you put a voice changer on. Yeah, it's how like you put a voice changer on for a second. I thought you were messing with me. What? Get the I get the three to go. <laughs> Your mic's infected already. said the same thing. So it's cool now? I don't think so, bro. Oh my god. Yo, it's night one. It's not even such as night one. We're like 30 minutes in. Oh, blocked from behind by Day Fry. I'm away from him trying to speak again. Johnny Red on Fanta. Johnny Red sauces him up and knocks it down. It's now a two point game in favor of Milwaukee. I'm still, I'm still gonna wait for JT to get back into the mix. But shout out everybody out there, watching on Twitch and YouTube, as they feed Dave Ryan down low, all tied up at 17 apiece. Johnny Red's got the takeover now too, shooting 40% from behind the arc. Off ball screen with Dimes, Jarcity, Dave Ryan, both up in the mix. Dimes to put him at 20. Yes, gets it to go for Dap Boy Dimes. Hit so many shots in his pre-draft. The E-FIBA run that they had just like that. Fanta does have the mismatch. Drives on the inside, tries to force it up. Does kick it out to Jar City. Day Fry cut inside. They'll happily take the two. But it could be the Bucks taking game number one with any score here. I agree, Strainer. That's the one thing I looked at, just even visually. Day Fry pops his sharp take. They go dimes down low. He has the mismatch. And Bucks Gaming will secure game number one of a best of five. So have to see how Dallas is going to end up responding here. And that's one, a close one to kick it off. 22 to 19. A lot of work being done there by Dave Fry. 11 points. Dimes with 13 points in his threes debut at the power forward position. 
as we check in here with Nets and Hawks. I do have to remind everybody out there, I know so many people had Command Center open last year. They're always jumping around looking for some other games. We don't have Command Center, but we have a Teams page that you can go to to check out all the other games because there are two other series that are going on compared to the one that's featured on the main broadcast as well. So you can watch all those games at twitch.tv forward slash team forward slash NBA 2K League. We do have alt Twitch channels that are going to have those games up. So you can go directly to those to watch those if your team is playing. Nice little change up that we have this year. As I think I'm still waiting on JT. I haven't, I haven't got word if JT's mic's recovered yet. We check in with Greens and Nets GC. MDS not on the court suspended for this first series, but he'll be back when it's Cavs Legion's time. So Duck gets the nod. I'm sure he wasn't the happiest with it. He's like, man, I got to play threes again. That was going to be MDS's job. As Greens on the inside will kick it back out to Steez. The exact same threes lineup that we did see from Brooklyn. Well, I promised this before. We checked in with the Mavs starting five for the 2024 season. Let's finally take a look at Milwaukee and Bucks gaming. Retro joining in the drafted rookie two bucks gaming CP and dimes coming over from that trade. Excited to see what now. Bucks game is going to produce. Oh, oh, there we go. Is it fixed? I I don't know. Oh. Is it fixed? Yeah, 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 yeah. You good? Sometimes this mic scares me. I pay a thousand dollars just to sound crazy. Oh, you flexing like that on us? Okay. I mean, well, I'm you got you, the well, same we, mic. Shut up. Be 30 minutes into the broadcast. JT has left me already to fix his mic, and he's already flexed his bankroll. Because I'm like, can't write, it. Can't write this script. Like, like, like from my phone rang. He was like, "Yo, my tripping, cuz." I'm like, "Huh?" <laughs> and then you said it. I'm like, "Huh?" And then I fixed it. And then they said we can't hear you. I'm like, "Huh?" I'm like, "Yeah." All right. Uh, see, that's my favorite thing is like, I hear it and I'm like, wait, maybe it's just a one-time thing. So like, it's nothing too bad. Then I wait for the chat's reaction and that's where you just see everything start blowing up. That That's how you know. <laughs> I'm like, what? Like, I, I was so stunned. I grabbed my Ooh. phone. I'm like, there's no way. There's no way. I couldn't even so get to game is... one. <laughs> just from the first game that we watched with the Bucks and Mavs, uh, every takeover we saw that was called in, I believe it was two of them. Uh, just pop the sharp take, but Streets has opted to go with the playmaking takeover here for Nets GC as they'll feed it down to C's. What, what's your take on it? I mean, I, I feel like so many people try different things and maybe having like, oh, like in fives, the center pop the, the playmaking takeover. I still feel like ultimately that sharp take is just too damn good to not be called in. Especially with from what I've been hearing that corners are struggling to shoot more than guards are. So I feel like that the sharp take itself should be C bottle to miss but as we as i keep hearing that corners are struggling to shoot more than guards are so why not get something that helps whoa Ooh. see like sharp sharp take he shoots that he shoots that with confidence regardless but he has play take so it doesn't really do anything for him on the shooting side yeah pulled him back way too deep and now hawks talent starting to bring themselves right back into this game after getting some stops greens thought about the shot we'll get it to streets duck on him shot. The pop comes out from streets. Still trying to work something out here. Underrated goat gets stuck, and Greens will pump fake it, kick it back out under 10 seconds to work with. Got to make something happen here. Got to imagine his adrenaline is pretty far down. Gets the ball to his right hand. Now goes up with the left, and he'll green it. And so the Nets are up six in that one. We'll jump back over to our feature game again. Like I said, make sure to get familiar with the teams. That's what we're going to be using. You can see, at least if you're on desktop, if you go next to the followers, you'll see a highlighted NBA 2K League. You click that, it'll show you every single game that's going on within the 6 o'clock hour. Think of that. That's our new command center that we have this year. And honestly, I love it. I remember when that was back in the day when I was streaming all the time. Like you always wanted to be on somebody's stream team, JT. I wanted my stream to get popular and look at it. Yeah, I, I remember back when I was hot on Twitch. What a time. Long time ago. Who won this game one? I was too busy trying to fix this broken thing I call a microphone. 
it was the Bucks. The Bucks won game number okay. one. Dimes dropped 14 points uh, in his threes debut. How many? 14. Okay, Nichols. That'll be the last time I, I call you that, too. <laughs> I've, been calling, I've been calling him that for a long time, but I promise, Dimes, I got you, my fault. <laughs> Fanta with the hesitation. What? Gets it over to Dave Fry, not down to Jarcy, and he'll just throw that one up. I believe we got our debut of the, there we go. The three box is up and at it. Um, I know that obviously Mavs and Bucks, that's game two. I think Hawks and Nets is game one, and Warriors Jazz maybe game one? I don't know. Yes, a little shock with this Warriors lineup. Like, I see Nay over Kenny got work. That's the, that's a shocker to me. Yeah, I mean, that was definitely, me and Harris were doing our preview and I was going through and I just thought maybe it'd be like a, you know, I thought like maybe like a Mama, Kenny, and Cease. I think probably one of other, a lot of other people are maybe just obviously replacing CB instead of Mama and keeping it that way. But yeah, a little shocking uh, to see Nay didn't play a lot of threes with the team last year. Uh, thought it maybe be somebody that was constantly in the mix. It's Johnny Red, good move and good shot. Best move on the game. And for those at home that do not know what that move is, Jamal Murray behind the back. It makes it so I can score, JT. That's how good the move is. And you know how hard it is for me to do any type of dribble moves? Yeah, I did play with you for a whole offseason. Yeah, but I was also like a seven foot. I saw it. I, at the indie event, they, they specialized the league build to where everybody could play on a 99 overall everything with every single Hall of Fame badge. That, that was the fun part that people didn't really get to see when, like, Maxi and Halliburton and all of them were playing. What were they using? You can, there was a one, not, obviously not in this competition with the NBA 2K League players, but when we were in uh, Indy for the NBA 2K League Alley in the showdown, uh, the League Ops team put one build per position that was 99 everything with every Hall of Fame badge. So you could have a seven footer out there like dribbling like Kyrie, shooting like Steph, dunking like Shaq, like all that. Oh, can I play that? That's like back no. 2K15. No. What, huh? You might have to go back further than that. You might gotta go 2K11, 2K10, crew mode. Put your player on a USB nah, 2K, drive. No, nah, 2K15. I promise. 2K, 2K15. We used to have it, it was it was a rec center. It was four seven footers and one. Seven three, it was nine nine, everything basically on the on the seven footer. Right? And we did just get word Nets GC take that first game against the Hawks. 22-16 is the final score of that one. As close game two here. Waiting to see that uh resurgence from Fanta. I was always a big proponent with Fanta. I was like with the changes in 3v3, because last year they made it to where there was nine in an overall builds and the gameplay just felt a lot faster. I feel like his first year in. That was the furthest away from retail that you could have been for the mode that you thrive at. So I'm expecting big things from Fanta here in threes. I am too. I feel like this year he will really get the opportunity that he probably assumed he was going to get in Toronto. So I'm expecting big things from him. This is a mode that's supposed to be his mode. He does come from this. He, he started in threes and then he became a custom to five. So I'm expecting big things from him. I did hear that Cap would play, but now that I see Fanta is on the court, I'm very excited to watch Mavs game in this threes mode. Good series here so far to what it looks to be. The Bucks took game number one. If you're just tuning in, this is game number two. The Mavs with a four point lead under 10 seconds here to work with Fanta. Day Fry's the one to set the screen playing lockdown here for Mavs gaming. Two seconds, Fanta out to Dayfry. That's a deep midi if it falls, and it does not. Jarcy will secure the rebound. And he'll give Fanta another chance at this one. Oh, there we go. Kicks it out to Dayfry, no. though, and there's going to be a contest coming through. Dawsix gets the rebound, and Dimes on a run out. Kicks it back out to Johnny Red. That's the one thing about that overload, or, or not the overload, but in threes, when you have that guard on guard, you have enough time to make them drop. You don't have to necessarily make that early three. A lot of hype coming in here for Jazz Gaming. Uh, definitely a lot of people putting him up there. One of the powerhouses of three versus three. Forgive Justin, the rookie, playing alongside Kaze. And then we got Miami out there. People remember him from when we are out in Indianapolis with Team Handles as, oh my goodness, Kaze is going to get blocked there by Cease. Now to get it to CB13. Three-point game here for Warriors Gaming Squad. And Charlie's got his takeover. See how he puts this to you. So they'll just get it down to Nay and they'll take the two. Put a stand. 
What is that? How do you pronounce Miami's name? Miamiers? I'm Miamiers. I'm just gonna call him Miami. I, I, you, I, 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 I don't know why. Just I'm going Miami. <laughs> like I'm not gonna call that the entire time. As Miamiers hits it, 23-19. Final score. Jazz take the first game. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a, I mean, if that's what he picked, I would assume he kind of had to pick that. So I'm going to do he my had best. To. He so. had to. There's just no yeah, way. So, <laughs> so I'll say Miamiers just knocked down that right cold corner three, green bean. Big shot by what's him. The, what's the one that everyone used to make their, their gamer tags? Like they put Iana at the end of it. Is it Miamiana? Then I'd be like, okay. Like, oh, oh yeah. Like look at the, <laughs> the Bucks rookie. Uh, it was, it was. Retriana Retriana. And, yeah, so it's yeah, that was a and then the other one is Nos. They put Nos at the end of everything. Four point game still here. Mavs have just been able to keep this solid lead as Johnny Red will scoop that one up and in, brings it to within two. Shout out to Truly Honcho watching in from the Netherlands. Goat content creator out there in the NBA 2K space. Also did a lot of work with EFIBA. I see you again. We got OG102. Mr. GFG compete himself, one of the OGs. Always gotta include the GFG when I say compete. Just have to. It's a really, really classic brand. Like, uh, like that brand was really one of the biggest brands to even start pro in. Like, there was people forget the the real Oops. brands that really started pro am off. Like the GFG, Throwdown, Field Drill, Space Jam, the Druka Boxes. Like, Wow. I just gave Fanta way too much space. Goes one for two from behind the arc in the game. Finishes with nine points. Everything else separated evenly between Jarcity and then what we end up seeing from Dave Fry. So now this series tied up a 1-1. I mean, I, I hope that it goes the way that we get a game five to kick off our 2024 season there as well. But this one looks to be a phenomenal series. Again, I'll point everybody down to the team's thing. It is the pin thing in the chat. If you do want to go out there, look at any other teams playing, that's what's co replacing Command Center this year. So if you're looking at some of the other games, you want to just stay engaged with those, make sure you head over to our NBA 2K alt channels. We're going to throw it to a quick commercial break. When we do come back, we'll have Bucks Gaming, Mavs Gaming, game number three. Don't go anywhere.
Welcome back to NBA 2K League opening night here in our 2024 season. It's a 3v3 blacktop series. The slam open, and we're going to be jumping over here to Hawkstown GC, Nets GC. Nets GC ended up taking the game number one, so this is game number two, and Hawkstown have a six-point lead. We will be jumping back over to game number three of Bucks Gaming and Mavs Gaming when that is fully ready. We'll just stay here for the duration of this one as Greens will float that one up and in with the left hand. Duck hot in this. Nine points. Got a sharp takeover. Let's see if he can maybe close this game out right here. Uh, I saw the question on the screen during the commercial break was, who will be the best point guard of the night? Make sure you guys drop in the Twitch chat, the YouTube chat. Who do you think is going to be the best PG that we'll see tonight? Just to give you a couple lists. We got Duck playing right now. We got CB. We got Johnny Red right now. Bucks Gamer. Antoine Love. Shifty Kyle will be coming up later. Killy. So many guards to choose from that are going to be playing here tonight. So make sure to spam it up out there in our Twitch chat. Here we go. Game number three underway. Bucks and Mavs. JT, I think you're here. I, I don't know. You, every time you ask if we how much time we have in commercial, I never know if you make it back on time. Let's know who we're talking about here. Like... What'd you say my percentage was earlier? Like, you know what I'm saying? You don't ever have to worry about that. <laughs> you don't ever have to worry about that. I, I am I, I am the epitome of professional. But while y'all are spamming up in the chat, who do you think PG of the night will be? I do have another question that we showed during our commercial break, and I'll give my answer first. I think season three Wizards is the best 2K League team of all time. What? 2k league team do you guys think through our first six seasons is the best 2k league team of all time what do you think dirt what do you got it's the, it's the warriors last year last year i'm i'm not i'm not i'm not mad at that but it's just the, the jbm reese awkward Danny, and day fry that's just disgusting well can i make this argument it matters what league build they're playing on. If we were to square them off, what league build are we choosing, right? Because like, yeah, 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 yeah. I feel like that makes a massive difference. 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%. 100%. The game just changes every year. Uh, by the way, the Hawks just beat the Nets, so now that series is tied up 1-1, one, one, so we'll have a game three going down over there as well. As Dave Fry will kick this one out to Fanta, just early 3-2. I'm seeing, um, I know some people have been calling out in the chat. I think Compete was one of them. Just talking about, like, it looks like it's a little bit harder to shoot. Like, some of the open shots, especially that the non-guards have been getting, haven't been going down at the highest of clips. Of the, maybe that we end up seeing last year. I know it's still early. I think every single year we see the three-point percentage be very, very low in this first week. But I think now the issue is, JT, we got one week of group play and we jump straight to bracket play. Like, you start playing for the money a lot faster than you did last year. Yeah, and that's why I was saying, like, we always said, we always say, because it's no longer really a regular season, that it's like every game matters, but when it's only one week of group play, there are only one set of games is not for money, now it's like every possession matters. Forget every game. So every miss open, every mishap on either end, all of that matters. Which what I was speaking about earlier when we talked about streaks popping that play badge, like corner players are hitting at a less effective rate so it, it's just like to actually pop play over sharp i need to see why he did it i'm sure he had good reason oh my goodness what a way to play two there coming out from day fry and what a difference a year can make he was just with the headset on last year coaching the team and now he's back out there on the floor the last time everybody saw him was with the whiz Back with Mavs Gaming now. That crazy trade that happened. All the rumors that were swirling around. And um, we'll have to see, right? With him now coming back into the mix. We know how good he was in 3v3 with WizDG. How is that maybe going to factor in? Like, what can he bring to this Mavs Gaming side that maybe he already kind of embodied in players like Jarcity, right? On this roster. Guy like Cap that he ended up bringing over with him. How is that going to change the 3v3 culture? Just the overall culture for the Mavs. I feel like it should play a big part because he's not coming into just a fresh team. He's coming into a team where it's a point guard that he played alongside and it's a lock that he coached. 
So those two players specifically, that's half of half of his teammates should already have a good relationship with him and know how he is, know how to talk to him, know how they can he can talk to them. Like that's half of his team that he's already familiar with, which should make his adjustment coming back to a player that much easier. JT, uh, would you be shocked if I told you that we have another game three that's going to be going down between the Warriors and the Jazz? So uh, everything's been pushed to a, a, that game three with it being tied 1-1 so far in every series in the 6 o'clock hour. I'm not shocked, and I know you won't believe me, but I was about to say it, but we started talking about something different. Oh, it's when you asked me the question. But I was going to say the same thing. I'm like, because you asked before game five, Watch at least two of these go to a game five. Yeah, it's, it's, it's going to be a wild one. I can already tell. As they feed the ball down to Dimes, now 15 to 13. I saw all greens, no white say. Is that a new underhand shot, JT? I, I think he's referring to Johnny Red using the scooper badge. I think it's a silver on the build that he's on. That's the one thing I'll say. We've always made it a thing to where guards have to dunk. But this year with the addition of scooper, I feel like guards will score a lot more because it is a very tough layup to block. Like, if you're not there to really contest the same thing with floaters. I feel like floaters will be a, a real thing this year, too. But we'll see more of floaters in fives. But in threes, we'll, we'll see scoopers. But in fives, we'll see scoopers and floaters. We won't just have to rely on a guard being able to dunk. Or better yet, as we've seen all year last year, stand up. And I can't wait to when people attempt those floaters in five shades. See that ball just getting palmed out of the sky. Yee! Mine! <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we'll see many, though. Like, it's tough, Dirk. I'm telling you, it's tough. It's tough. 15-15, man. This is, if this is how things are going to look the, the entire three season, wow, I'm excited. Yeah, I think threes are, are going to be really great. Uh-oh. He's back at it. Remember last time he was that lock. He left yeah. the league in steals. I'm seeing a, a lot of just the, the straight up pluck animation, just knocking the ball away from it. There's the scooper that we were just talking about, Johnny Red. That's been a couple times that you brought it up, right? Usually with some of the guards builds over the course of threes, they can either run and dunk, or when you're on the layup build, you're kind of hopeless. As soon as you got to the paint, you could do nothing. So the addition of scooper already making an impact here as Fanta goes down the baseline. And we'll just flick that one up with the right hand. 1917 now in favor of Mavs Gaming. In Mavs Gaming, all you're saying is no threes. No threes. Oh, they might have just given one up. Johnny Red can't get it to go, but Dimes gives him another chance at it. Under 10 seconds here to work. We're trying to shake Dave for off and pulls it back. Takes the shot. Johnny Red. It's wide open from 24 feet. He used that step back right off that screen. So with Darcy playing low, it was just no, or it, look, it looked like Fanta actually. It was nothing that could be done. See how Fanta and Dave Fry play this one. Dimes straight up high. Just have to miss back. He's getting bumped though. Things getting scary. Fanta <laughs> almost had some space. Gets it to Dave Fry. Five seconds. Darcy back out to Dave Fry. Doesn't take the shot. Now it's a Fanta. Got to put something up. He flicks it up from deep. It's no good, Jarcity. Secures the rebound, Dave Fry. The three. No good. Jarcity almost got it. All the way rebound. Down. And the Bucks come out with it. They made him drop the rebound. Jarcity had the rebound. Shoot, Dobbs. Oh, he's taking his time with it. They just know anything that they score, they win. Johnny Red from a stepper from half court. Johnny Red does it again. His name called upon so much with the Bucks, and he answers the call once more. Bucks Gaming now lead the series two to one. I just keep thinking about one possession, like that left corner three. I'm telling you, when Santa hit that Jamal Murray on dimes, he was open. He just didn't take it. Woo, I had to catch my breath there for a second. As we got Warriors Gaming Squad Jazz Gaming, this is game number three. And I don't know if anybody had this on their bingo cards that this would be the lineup the Warriors would be coming out here with to start off, at least position-based. Um, you got CB13, you got Cease, and you got Nay at the lockdown for Warriors Gaming Squad. Yeah, if I was going to say Nay's going to be in the lineup, I would I would assume they put Super Cease on lock and then Nay on the back end at the power forward at the big. But Nay on lock is... 
That's shock of the night right now. I'll save my other shock of the night for the fans to actually see <laughs> once that series is live. Because I seen that line up and I'm like, hold up, wait a minute. But, you know, we'll we'll talk about that once that series actually starts. Well, right. I mean, if we break it down, right? I mean, obviously, threes, the way it's played in the league, is very different from retail. Like, you don't really see the lockdowns. I always tried to go for the standing dunk meter. Didn't get it. I feel like in the retail version, right, you're just seeing the traditional either guards or ice coming or you have the power forward that's out there setting the screens and popping out. In the league build, it's a lot of the small forwards locked down to basically play as a popper. So it's kind of Nay's world, right? He's used to playing a big man, but he's just going to be on a small forward build. It, correct me if I'm wrong. I feel like, no, it was allowed, but it was almost like kind of law to where they weren't doing it as much. But now it's like, it's just do anything to actually make that guard play some defense because that build doesn't have much much defense. That might be mm. green. It is. That might be the best shooter this year at the big. Just just my early vote shooting wise. I'm gonna give it to my ears on the shooting side. Strictly shooting side. Not saying he doesn't have defense, but I'm strictly talking about shooting. I, mean, I feel like from an offensive standpoint, as Nate can't get that to go, I feel like Miami is going to have one of those offensive seasons in threes like Loki Godlike had here with Dukes Infinitos. I think it's going to be one of those years for him, especially with how proven he already is. I think it's just going to be how comfortable is he going to be with the guys that obviously he's playing with, has experience with Kaze already, um, but just kind of getting into that rhythm and, and same type of flow from him. I feel like that's kind of a, an accurate maybe comparison, I feel like, going forward. Yeah, I'm not I'm not too mad at that. Like I'm not too mad at that. Those are really three elite or elite three v three back in. Sorry. So I'm not mad at that comparison at all. I feel like just especially when shooting looks like skill gap right now for corners. If you have corners that can really knock down shots at a high rate, because right now, from what I'm watching, it's just living with corners actually shoot the ball. Like, actually saying, you know what? He got to show me. And he having to show me as professionals just shows me that it's not as easy at a, <laughs> as it usually is. Yeah, we, we saw Yank. that Dimes pause up top when he could have shot it for game. I know that he probably took the time anyway, but they just played him at the free throw line. said, go ahead, take the shot if you want to. Just kind of daring him at that point. Uh, this is game four. If anybody else is just tuning in, it is the Bucks up two to one. It's Johnny Red. Same spot, same shot, same result. Three points for Johnny Red to kick this one off. That's the one thing I'll say. He'll he'll have to go from Patty Mills to McGrady. But it it shouldn't be a hard adjustment. But they're two completely different bases. Two completely different speeds. Two completely different green windows, if I'm getting honest. Oh, That's again? Good. Again? <laughs> That's now three in a row, by the way, from that exact same spot at the top of the arc. If you're going back to last game of that game winner. Yeah, that game winner was pretty deep. Like I, he shot it with, with confidence. So like that, he's just one of those shooters that if he's open, he never lacks that confidence that he can actually knock it down. Hey, Frau, get up top. Three seconds to make something shake. The stop and go. Fanta has the shot in the left corner. Can't knock it down. Offensive rebounds already making an impact early on every single series that we've seen so far. But that's an offensive three seconds. That's a big mystery by Fano, like wide open in the corner with all all the purple badges in 2K. Again? Three in a row? Johnny Red oh. knocks it down. All nine points for Johnny Red. And we always say it, but I think this year it might be actually the truth. The difference maker really might be who can knock down open shots more than the other team. I mean, just a heavy three-point attack, which... To be fair, we did see it a lot with Cooks last year, but Cooks would have those games where he just fades. And by that point, trying to make a comeback, it's almost too late. But Johnny Red making his debut on guard here in 3v3 as Dawsix. I mean, they're just perfect from behind the arc. Johnny Red had the first three. Dawsix gets another one. They're not missing, but that too. Like, it has to be the whole team. Like, it can't just be one. Because at some point, any good team is going to make the corners actually shoot the ball. Like, you're not just going to watch a point guard just have his way and do his thing 
without making him make a read. Somebody in the chat, either too ill or real. I can't really decipher it if it's the two supposed to be an R or not. No fades. I have yet to see anybody shoot an actual fade yet, which last year, that's all it was. Just constant fades. I mean, they're missing standstills. So I'm actually glad I'm not seeing fades because <laughs> a lot of players can't shoot with their feet set. I don't want to see them fade as of right now. But I but but don't worry. I feel like as time goes on, you will see oh. fades. I'll say for two for two from three. Reap, I have no idea how hard it is to shoot a fade, but judging from when I was watching the close qualifiers and now watching this, I'm assuming it's pretty hard. I'm not sure how how similar it is to play like the official and then like a a practice game but when i was playing i didn't hit one fade hit a couple stands too fades i didn't hit one but i only played two games i'm a, but yeah. I, that's the one thing i'm gonna do a lot for i'm gonna actually play a lot like i'm gonna i'm gonna practice whenever i can yeah in, in indy i got a chance to like go through a shoot around and just something like one of the the games of ais and stuff like that it was uh I don't even I don't even know what jump shot I had I'm gonna be real with you but um yeah I mean it was it was a little bit different but I was also on a big man so I, there was no chance I was like pulling up shooting fades or anything like that but that'll be a uh, an interesting meta to kind of follow as the three season progresses right because you kind of saw an evolution there was no fat stop last year and Greens is one of the first guys to really come in and start to make that a part of his game I'm wondering right I feel like making that a skill gap at what point will be who's going to be the first guard to maybe start to make fades a, a permanent part of their arsenal if there even are going to be any over the course of the next three months i feel like it has to be pro two and trey young are are really good it's just players have to get acclimated with this build like they have to get comfortable enough to actually know it because it it's so many different things that would change the speed of a fade is it open or not are you tired or not how many adrenaline bars do you have or not? You know, all of that matters. So it's like you have to really know it. And like we said, it's only oh, one week. Here's of Johnny. Here's Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> 22 to 12 with confidence with the sharp takeover from way downtown. That's going to close the series out. Uh, a relatively quick night in the office coming out here from Milwaukee. They take the series three to one to kick off the 2024 season. You know, they just came in and handled business. Can't, oh why, my why, goodness, I feel like he could have hit the again. last one. <laughs> again? <laughs> just keep talking. Just commentate like that. No, I'm not. I refuse. It's... You... What is it, Chad? What what does JT's mic sound like? It's like the when you put the chipmunk filter on back in the day, like when Alvin and the chipmunk, so you put that on your mic. Yeah, that's what it kind of sounds like. If you started singing like Christmas, Christmas time is here, you would sound exactly like it. Oh, there's a fade. Maybe that's why we don't see it. Very early, 20% covered. Uh, Steez makes it 15 to 5. Yeah, Helium voice. There you go, Legacy. That's that's a good comparison. So I think we it lost JT for the moment. Oh, no, wait, is he back? Do I sound okay? There you go. You're good. No, like, I don't know what's going on, and I'm about to punch everything. <laughs> like, what is going on? <laughs> Dude, like, I got the text again. Mike, like, I'm about to lose my mind. Like, what did I do? I'm about to just unplug everything at the, at the end of the show. Kev, like, I can't get it together. I'm not doing anything. I'm not even <laughs> moving my hands. And y'all know how much I move my hand. My hands are uh, all, like, just on my armrest. Like, ugh. Right. Well, we're going to take some time so JT can figure out his microphone situation so he doesn't go full Alvin and the Chipmunks on us again. Again, just a reminder to everybody out there, before we do go to this commercial break, we have a new quote-unquote command center. It's called NBA 2K League Teams. It's actually the pinned tweet in the chat for you to go through and watch all of our alt channels. That's where all the other games that aren't featured on the main broadcast are going to be. Been seeing a lot of people in the chat saying absolute complete W. So make sure to check that out for any of the games. We are going to go to a commercial break. When we do come back on the other side, we're going to have Kingsguard Gaming taking on Shifty Kai and Lakers Gaming on the other side.
All right, we are back. JT's mic issues are fixed. This is the 3v3 Blacktop series. We are in the slam open night number one. Uh, the question there in the commercial, which we discussed already, which who is the best NBA 2K League team of all time? I uh, saw a lot of whiz. I don't know if I saw any Warriors. I think everyone's just going on the Wizards. They said they, they, they got the two championships. That's all they really need. But they have to pick one. Yeah. Oh, that's true, too. Yeah, it's, it's not the exact same one. Yeah, one one has Reese, one has V Rich. I went to one with Reese. But that was nice. so which one is it? Is it season three or season four? Yeah, we need we need people to drop in the chat, specify which one that you think it is. But of course, JT, when we're going through the timeline of 3v3, we had our closed qualifiers, to, to which we picked the seven community teams that are going to be participating. It's our NBA 2K League teams. There you can see the list there. I'm going through the list of community teams right now to see. So Triple Gods. That has Baby Virgil, Kenny Zeus, and Jay Gill. Uh, for Rim Runners, that has uh, Shifty, Swags, and Quickster. Uh, Triple Threat, another one of the teams that's coming in. Cap Got Game, Mua, and Quill. Oh, let's see. New York Islanders, which is one of the more unique ones. NHL team coming in. Uh, Jack Moneyman, Mascone, Crucify, and Dario. That's the team there. Then you got GCL. You got Glitchy, and you got the Dream Shakers. Uh, GCL, some notable players. Big Twin and Lil Twin, two guys that end up pulling out of their draft pool to stay in university, but said, you know what? This gives us the opportunity to go out there and participate in three versus three. So those are the seven teams that we are going to see coming up in our bracket play. You can't speak on GCL without talking about former pro 4D. That's their lockdown. Yeah. That's insane. That's insane. But I will say JBM. I thought JBM might be rusty, but JBM was actually moving. So I'm ready yeah. to see how how these community teams will fare out against these pro teams. Because looking at pro team, pro teams are struggling as well. I said coming in, I'll have to see. I was talking to Harris. I'm like, I have to see how these pro teams will look on this field. But they're not looking too much better than how some of our best community teams look so i have to see how they fare out next week flacco what you didn't see is me reading off the team that was on my right monitor and quickly flipping over to my excel doc and looking through and big twin was the highlighted name on the team so if that if that helps my case 
of not jumping straight over towards 4 and D. That's why, because Big Twin was the one that's highlighted. So don't come for me. Go forever highlighted it in bright orange, okay? Game five, by the way, here in this one, JT. Well, first, first game five. Don't worry, D. I got you. Oh, my. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. He's shooting those on the wing, Dirk. 50-50s on the wing. Well, I don't know if it's really a 50-50, but it's still something that, you know, Big's not shooting as of right now. 8-2 to two here early in this one. I got so confused, too. Uh, there was a misprint in one of the docs that we had uh, where, for some reason, there was a it was misspelled between what? Kaze and it had Jaze in there. And I was like, please don't tell me Kaze changed his name. I was like, come on. Don't do this to me. Yeah, Jaze is crazy. But why did they just leave my Miami ears open? Uh, who knows? Well, this one, everybody can go look at one of our alt streams if you want to continue watching this one. But for now, let's look at the Kingsguard Gaming roster for this upcoming season. Straight into game number one here of this one. Kings are gaming, Lakers gaming. Uh, I know that, obviously, JT, Kings are gaming, making a lot of changes. They got kick out there. They got score. And, of course, Bray, the man, we're always wondering, okay, what position is he going to come out with in this team? But uh, we completely forget one of the best players, if not the best player in the entire league, still yet to win an MVP, makes his way out to L.A. Shifty Kai joins Crazy and Yo VC here for the season. Oh, and I see he has down what I haven't seen much of the night. He has that dribble cancel down. I can't wait until, like, all the guards really have that down because that's really when we're going to see guards move. I would explain it, but it's just not the most basic thing. Maybe at one point I will. I'm still learning how to do it completely myself, but the way I, I just seen Kai go left and right, you know, he might be, he might be moving and grooving. Oh, that's, what, wing? Oh. Oh, kick from the right corner, can't get it to go. I mean, what, what should we expect, right? I know that there was a lot of, I believe it was during the ad wave period, a lot of people maybe hyping up that score might be somebody that was picked up by a roster. Um, but now he gets drafted out here to Kingsguard Gaming, and then alongside kick two, uh, which I know a lot of people are maybe wondering, you know, is kick going to play lockdown? Is Bray going to play lock? How well are they going to interchange between the two? I just, I feel like they have, or not have to necessarily, but I say put Bray at lock, put kick at center. And even in this mode, put Bray at lock, put kick on the back end. I just think leave, leave them where they are so they actually have the proper chance to be elite. One thing former 2K League Pro Deeds used to always tell me, being versatile has its downfalls because you never truly take the time to become elite at one spot, which means you're good everywhere, but when you're good everywhere, you can't really get ahead of the bunch. But when you take that time to become elite at one spot, that's when you could become irreplaceable. I just saw Dior in the chat. He just said they had the thing where you can watch eight games at one time last year. Uh, yes, we do have something new for this season. Uh, it is the NBA 2K League team stream teams page. Uh, there are two other games that are happening on the NBA 2K League's alternate Twitch channels. You can watch those games and our main broadcast on the NBA 2K League Twitch teams page. You can check it out. Switch.tv slash team slash NBA 2K League or next to the followers if you're on desktop you can actually click the highlighted in purple NBA 2K League name and it's also pinned in the Twitch chat for you to go through so they have their own entire separate broadcast you can just go through you'll just see all the gameplay all that stuff the entire time there too play me I believe we got uh we got the Jazz and the Raptors, I believe, over on those alt casts. So I know that the Jazz and the Warriors, that's the game five that's going on. It's the first game five so far of the early stages of the year as Kai knocks down a three. Ten points for him. What do we? He had the label last year, right? Standing Dunk King? 
SDK, stand dunk king. Of course, he has a build where he can stand up. He been open. Or been open. I'm excited to see what... I mean, I feel like there's uh, always a lot of pressure when you come over to Lakers. I feel like anything just associated with the Lakers, there's a lot of pressure. As, oh my goodness, in and out goes Bray, and he greens the shot. And the Jazz did beat the Warriors, so the Jazz start off going all the way to game number five and come out with 10 points here to kick off the slam. All right, and take it easy, mate. Unfortunately, Mo Bucket's team lost the seventh place game in that closed qualifier to be the last community team. So you will have to wait until the next qualifier to see if they can make it out of that. But they were one game out. They were one they were. series from making it to bracket play. They surprised a lot, especially taking out live and rail. Like nobody's seen that coming at all. So they surprised a lot of people, but they did fall just short. So you will not be seeing them in the slam. Ooh. Crazy. I don't think he wanted the deep mid. He took it anyway, but missed. And just a one-point lead. You got VC in the play. As Bray, the one to set the screen. Oh, he got it down, Miscommunication too. coming between them both. And the shot's going to go up. No good. And Lakers gaming come on the top of the rebound. Yeah, that's tough. But if he waited a, a little bit, I feel like people drop so much. You can't even go up oh. with confidence. What a move. <laughs> what a move and what a shot coming out there from Kai. Now finally calls in his takeover. He's got 13 of the 19 points. Lakers game and looking to close it out. Their next offensive possession as VC applying the pressure. It's with Kick now. They'll get the reset. Just doing such a good job of staying in the play. Both double team up high and Kick will throw it down. That's smart because they still make it to where the Kings need two possessions to, to win the game. So giving the, up the two there makes perfect sense. Kai gets bumped out of the corner. They'll go over to Crazy. Now down low to Kai. Back out to Crazy. Thought about the shot. Good job by Bray. Making sure that he's the one that stays on the ball. VC sets the late screen. The move on the inside. Crazy wide open shot for the ball game. And game one goes to Lakers Gaming. Shifty guy. Absolutely perfect. Perfect. Five for five from the field. Three for three from behind the arc there for the former T Wolves gaming man. I, I feel like their new threes lineup is something spooky. Something really spooky. Like looking at that, yo BC. Crazy. Shifty Kai. Like that's a that's a star-studded three. I feel like we don't even have like many questionable lineups this year. In threes. Yeah, solid lineup all the way around. I mean, we kind of know, right? A lot of us, I think, over the broadcast have always questioned, like, Crazy's commitment. Like, he's always laughing, seems just, like, slouching sometimes on camera. If you look at some of the guard play they had, especially last year, I think when you get something like Shifty Kai, that's going to motivate every single person inside that locker room to come in and give it their all, no matter in threes or fives. As we are over here, Antoine Love making his 3v3 debut. We didn't get to see him last year because he was picked up during the ad wave. But as soon as we saw JT, what Antoine Love was doing in fives, we're like, damn, I, I wish I could have seen this man play threes. Yes, because his, the way he looked in fives, I'm like, oh, brother, he's moving. Like, he actually made the rookie of the year race close. And this lineup is different than what I thought it would be. I thought the Raptors lineup from what I've seen in a couple of scrims was Antoine Love, Hom, and Symptoms, but now it's Antoine Love crushing Seam. I would have maybe thought it, it would be Antoine Love, Hom, in Crush, but I, I guess it's... And then even on the Knicks side, no more Radiant. No more Radiant at Power Forward, but, you know, they, they do have Feast now, which is one of our better bigs in the league, so not mad at it at all. Yeah, Fee, it's kind of shocking seeing Feast, honestly, right? Because I, I think the reputation that he's had ever since three stars that he didn't want to really be out there for threes all too much. So you thought maybe that would be the case, but solid pickups for New York. They got Feast, they got sick, two local guys, to New York. Uh, they're back home, so I'm really excited to see them whenever it gets to fives. There's still a lot of threes they have to go with, but I'm assuming if maybe things start to go south, that could be a lineup that they always bring on their back pocket. They did have success last year, but um, the thorn in their side was definitely low navy, glow mosquitoes. But JT, guess what? They didn't make it in the close qualifier. 
Yeah, they, they lost the more buckets. So, you know? Oh, it pulled him in. Oof. Oh, that's a tough one. Uh, also, to note, new head coach of Raptors Uprising GC, Nick Gartrell, formerly of T-Wolves Gaming. Impressive resume that he has. Oh, 50% great! Simo! Uh. Oh, don't the Knicks have a new head coach, too? Yeah, they got Nate Call. Yeah, Season yeah, one, really, uh, finals MVP. Oh, ball's going to be knocked away. Malik pops his takeover. That's where we, we see him shine continuously throughout his MVP 2 complete career. He'll take the shot. He can't get it to go. Hard off the back of the rim, and there's a reach by Seam. He has badge for so much longer. I, I I feel like I think he could just he could have just took the quick two there. But now, no, no, no. See, see, see right there. I don't mind the two, but right there, since Malik has Antoine Love on him, he has to get back to that corner to where Malik just doesn't get doubled. Because Antoine Love has batch too. So it was guard on guard as it is right now. See, just get on three, and now the guard can't get off of him. He's stuck. Antoine Love will pull it out. He'll take the shot. He can't green it. Hard off the back of the rim for that one. A chance for the Knicks to win it. No. Seam knocks the ball away. Big flukies. Antoine Love going one on one. Crush. Gets it over to Seam. They'll go back to Antoine Love. What stick is in the play with under 10 seconds to work with one adrenaline bar. They beat Crush going down there on the slip and he scoops it up and in with the left hand. But now it's game point coming out here for New York. Stop. Leak to stick. He'll pump fake it. Kicks over to Feast. Nobody won yet. They only need two. They only need two. <laughs> they go. They go down to Sticky. Pump fakes it. Malik wide open. You gotta have it. Yes. Leaky comes through. Only one missed shot from behind the arc. 23-20. Next game and close it out. I'm not sure I like leaving Badge there. I don't mind the corner. I don't mind the corner. Leaving Badge, I don't like it. Mm. That was a tough layup. As we're back over here in this one, this is game number two. Seven two start coming out from LA. And uh, would you guess it, JC? Shifty Kai with five of those seven points. I told you he's moving. Ooh, stand up. I told you, I like, like, I'm starting to see, like, guards that have the dribble canceled down. I think that's, like, step one to really being able to three hunt effectively because being able to change directions like that will be tough to guard. But if you don't have that down yet as a guard, as it's Christmas right now for score, even though we're in February. Hey, I speak for yourself in illinois we just had 70 degree weather then hail and tornadoes around the area then i wake up this morning to snow on the ground jt all within a span of 12 hours so february yeah prime time <laughs> yeah where but where i'm at if i want to see snow i gotta go to big bear mountain so yeah oh what a block from behind by vc and I don't think that's going to help that cold ring. As they have no, six I, seconds left in the clock. And it's tough, too, because he greened it. That's what hurts even more. And they get it over to Bray. Just has to put something up with the shot clock winding down. Crazy will come out with it. Somebody said, no Dynasty in the lineup here for Lakers gaming. Yeah, I mean, I love Dynasty. Phenomenal player. But that's shifty guy. <laughs> that's the only way I can put it. Yeah, it's tough. It's tough. Like, like I... I feel like Dynasty's more of a five v five guard anyway. I don't want to, you know, because I haven't I haven't seen him play threes, so I can't truly speak on him play threes. But we see Kai's play threes every year, so it's just like I would assume that maybe they tried it out, see how it would look, or maybe they didn't at all. But oh, steal! They go back out to Kai. Kai wide open in the move, corner. Man. Money again. Seventeen to two. This might be our nastiest game of the of the night yet. Yes. Or uh, not. Or, or not. Might be. It, yeah. One hundred percent is my fault. I mean, I, I would have to think, and I don't even know if we have it completely tracked. What the the like the grossest deficit that we've had in the entire game. I don't think anybody got skunked last year. I think that's one thing that we could come out on top with. But I mean, twenty one to two, twenty two to two. It's got to be up there. Yeah, I think last year our worst game was twenty-three to two. Oh! 
Oh, 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 Season is going to be crazy. <laughs> Literal nuts. I just watched him and he was on a super cold ring. Wasn't no like, oh, you know, he just had a turnover, maybe a foul, maybe one too many misses. He just got blocked on a cold ring. Game blouses. Perfect game coming out there from Kai. Uh, it's just picking up right where he left off, just in a different jersey, JT. Uh, just time in the Lakers gaming jersey. 14 points there for Shifty Kai. An absolute blowout, 22-7. to 7. So that puts it at 2-0. Our potential first sweep of the night could be coming up here, but we are going to throw it to a commercial break. When we do come back on the other side, we'll have Game 3 action between Kingsguard and Lakers gaming. Put the helium balloons down. Welcome back to the NBA 2K League 3v3 Blacktop Series. We are at the Slam Open. Uh, helium JT not in the mix yet. You did just miss that. Um, interesting question that we had there in the commercial break. I, I don't. I never make predictions this early, and I don't think I'm going to right now, and I don't expect you to. But the question was during that commercial: Who is going to win the 3v3 championship? We've seen the Pistons take the first ever one. We had Dukes Infinitos last year take it. Will we see a new champion? Or will we see something else? Will, will Dukes Infinitos repeat with a completely different team? So it's an organization would repeat, but you know what I mean. If I had to pick one right now, 
early favorites, I'm going Magic Game. If I have to pick one. It's not my 3v3 champion, but I'm going to say, since you aren't, I will. I know people like to, you know, scream at me anyway. So, I'll go Magic Gaming as the early 3v3 favorite team. Even though I haven't seen them play a game yet. So, I guess I got to wait and see. Yeah, um... So, I, like I said, I'm not going to make a prediction right now, but I made one of my pop with Harris. I, I picked Magic Gaming. Uh, they were they were my one. <laughs> yeah, they're cool on the Utah series. I'm pretty sure, if I'm not mistaken, a production crew can correct me if I'm wrong, I'm pretty sure the Jazz ended up winning um, that series, if we could get some some help on that one. Yeah, confirmed. Jazz ended up winning 3-2 to two, uh, in their series against Warriors Gaming Squad. I love that team. Like, I feel like Justin, he was a big 3v3 guard that is finally getting his shot. And that's what they have, have made sure to get back to back years. Like, what happened, Rec Combos last year, who was, he had his Zeus like moments. Like, I'm pretty sure it was the slam, if I'm not mistaken. Like, in person, he had me going literally insane because he was, he was just making whoever guarded him dance like he was disgusting and i feel like justin has i don't know if i'll say the same capabilities because movement movement looks a little more complicated this year but i do like that justin kaze in miami's lineup especially with the way miami is, is shooting that is going to open up everything when your back end can shoot like that yeah, I know when we had uh, I, I talked about my comparison of Miami and like Loki God like coming in for their first years and talking again strictly offense. I think that's the closest comparison that we'll probably be able to draw with how good if Miami shoots the way that we know he can, it'll be right up there with the level of Loki God. Like I think the the thing is going to be consistency is what we'll have to see from him as we head back over here to game. Number three, it is Lakers gaming up two to nothing. And just to remind us, everybody out there, no command center this year, but we do have an NBA 2K League team stream page that you can go to, which has alt casts for all the other games that are going on within this hour. If you're on desktop next to the followers, NBA 2K League is highlighted in purple. You can click that and see every single stream that is live. It's also pinned in our Twitch chat, or you can type in twitch.tv forward slash team forward slash NBA 2K League to go through and look at all those just a nice little addition that we've had so you can have all the eyes in any gameplay that you want here in our 2024 season like he had that quick stop there he had that quick stop after that jamal murray behind the back or as they call it l2 cancel now but he didn't take it what do you think that the kings have to do here right i mean it's got to be a little bit demoralizing scores making his debut uh, game one, toe-to-toe -to -toe in a sense. Game two, I mean, cold ring, couldn't really do everything. Blowout going in their favor. I think leave it, leave it, leave it. That's that's my one message for every team this year. All this musical chairs with lineups, please stop. Please stop. None of y'all have been successful that like to just throw anything out there. None of y'all. Name me one team, and, and Chad could do it too. Name me one team last year that switched their lineup all year round that was successful. Like, it's just like when you have your best lineup, which is this is their best lineup. Let them figure it out. Everybody loses. Everybody has bad nights. Let them figure it out. And shout out to Esports Biz, a.k.a. Justin J in the chat. Been rocking with the NBA 2K League all the way back in season one. Was at the studio, I think, every single time that we had a game going down. Out here supporting in the chat. Uh, Harris says that the Pistons started with a different lineup. Started. And after that one change, did it change again? Musical chairs isn't twice. I'm not saying twice. I'm not saying, like, if you start with one, let the whole boat drown. I, I mean, let... Let the whole boat sink. I'm not saying that. Like, one or two, okay. But last year, I seen, like, some teams do eight to ten lineup changes. And it's like, at this point, what, we just want runs? That's a dot. <laughs> yeah, Kai Smoke said that uh, Dukes was the only exception because they changed. I think what the change that they always were making was, like, Beezus going out there with Hez and then Hez going down there, Beezus and Loki Godlike going out. But 
they ended up winning the championship. They're they're the the one exception maybe to it. But that's what I'm saying though. Like like I'm chat. I'm not talking about you cannot change at all. I'm not saying that. But if I really had to go back and look at the lineups, I'm talking about it was we had at least ten teams change their come out with five different lineups minimum. And that's what I mean. Change once or twice. I'm not mad at that. But changing five, six, seven times, it's like, ugh. I think Harris just took away the pinned message in the chat that was how people could access the stream team page and put a basketball that says Verde on it. Harris, fix it. You're a mod. <laughs> A basketball that says Verde on it, huh? Yeah, look at it. It's a, look at the top pin tweet, uh, the pinned uh, message in the Twitch chat. Oh, I so see I, it. Yeah. <laughs> I looked. I was like, oh man. But yeah, a lot closer game here in this one. Kings are coming actually with the two point lead, chance to make it some more. As score will get the ball, seven points for Kai here in this one. They feed it down to Bray. Kicks yes, it back out. That to kick. A lot Ooh. of time here to work with. One on one, guard on guard, and scores gonna throw it down with the left hand. All right, see, we still want a, a potential sweep. Kings picking it up after after two great games by Kai. Now you know it's fourteen ten. You know, hopefully I don't jinx them. I know that we had um, another game that's actually going on too. We had Grizz and Pacers Gaming. Vandy stepping back out into the threes floor against one of his former teams in Pacers Gaming. Didn't get to see him. I think we saw him in one series last year at Dukes and Finitos. Um, he played one game. Uh, the Grizz did just win that second game. So now that series is 1 1. Of course, Cook's now with Pacers Gaming. But very excited to see Vandy get a lot more playing time here in three versus three. I, I, I don't know why. I mean, that first season when we were, when we were in Indianapolis, that was just beautiful the way that man would play threes it was he had a phenomenal season right up until they ran into rim runners which is which two of those three amateurs went on to become pros law rich and low-key godlike seldom's seldom was the only player on that squad that didn't turn out to be a pro but Bandy that year, phenomenal. And I think he'll have another phenomenal year as they have a great threes team with Odon playing back in. And I'm not sure what he picked his name to be in the league. A lot. I see. There you go. 22 to 14. So the series will be extended. Kings are gaming. Takes the win here in game three. Will they get the 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 esports reverse sweep? Can they pull off three in a row? But it's definitely going to be a tall task to try to pull off here in this one. Uh, but showing some vulnerability there. Kai still kind of being as consistent as he come. But I feel like that was a story a lot last year, JT, anytime that we saw Kai play. But I feel like it was it was that towards the end. I feel like they were really good, but once they got like to that final four point, it's like I would see them just kind of blow leads. Like even when Dukes beat them in the switch, I feel like I didn't have Dukes when it, because Dukes wasn't really playing well up until the switch. But when the switch came, they hit a crazy, like, actual switch. And they didn't lose again. It is a very busy night out here in the NBA 2K League, our opening night here in the Slam Open. We're going to throw it to a commercial break. On the other side, we'll have Game 4 of Kings taking on Lakers.
Welcome back to the NBA 2K League 3v3 Blacktop Series. Myself, Dirk, alongside JT as... Well, I was like, he might be open, and he was, and he airballed it. Uh, Q Chill in the chat said, why do people keep saying Joe knows? The question during the commercial break was, which content creator would you like to see in the NBA 2K League? Uh, Joe knows was probably the top one. I saw a lot of chocks out there. You've seen chalk in the league already. Oh, um, I'd say I don't. I don't. Chalk, it, it's no way chalk fits in that discussion. It's no way. Yeah. That's a form of professional turn content creator, right? That, yeah, that's, that's then, a good way to put it. And the, yeah, and then literally, like when he was in the league, he was like top three at his position. So it's like, it's not like he was a, a one and done dude that was just a content creator afterwards. Like, Chalk was putting up 40 and 20 when we didn't, and nobody else was doing that at the moment. Like, Chalk had, like, crazy, disgusting games. I also uh, saw Orlando in Chicago, and if people remember that name from what, like, the legend grind from back in, is it 16? They went back way too far. They went back to when <laughs> I was good at the damn game, and that's just way too far. So, yeah. This is uh, game number four, Kingsguard Gaming. Off to a solid start here, seven to two. As Bray's gonna knock the ball away. I saw somebody in the chat in one of the earlier games like, well, I see that Bray's got it all sorted and comes down to getting the steals. But there's Kai out there on the break to bring it to within three. And Kev, we're not saying Chalk isn't a content creator. It's like when, when I say, when I think at least content creator, I'm thinking of guys that do content that have never touched the league oh like that's what i'm saying ray just drop stepped him through an elbow to the back of his head to be able to get that too kai lines up a shot for the top of the arc and it's green we might have a game five and we was talking about a sweep Hey, we're talking about a sweep for all the right reasons. That game two was atrocious, but there's one thing I've always learned. When it comes down to series, whether it's fives or threes, no matter what, you got that blowout in that first game, that second game more than likely not going to be the exact same result. In this case, the third game. As Bray will get it back over to score, trying to add to their lead. Gets it Play on the inside, and no, can't get the layup to go. They get out to VC. Paul doesn't even hit the floor, and he throws it down. See, that's the one thing I'll say about threes. I feel like you have to know how to stop the bleeding, but know how to control the tempo. Like, see, it just went downhill very fast <laughs> for them. It just went downhill like that. Like, just a bad layup by score, then a bad pass by score. It's just like they had momentum, control, odds, all of that. Oh, and see, look, no. look, look. It's like a domino effect. It's like everything's going wrong now. A legal screen, bad layup. Kai still in a pass at point guard, which I don't think I've seen all day. Oh, that is tough. I mean, there was the back-to-back -back scores all coming from breaks, the illegal screen. Uh, they capitalized. I know Crazy wishes that that ex well-executed play would have resulted in a three. And now it's 13 to nine. If we were just talking about, I think Kings are game up seven to two at one point in this game. As they try to go off ball work, they'll feed it down to Bray. It's going to be knocked out of bounds there by VC. So with 12 seconds to work with here on the shot clock. An 11 to 2 run is actually insane. Actually insane. It's a great turnaround. They're going with Bray a lot, and I kind of like that, right? He's the guy that you're looking at to maybe try to take that leap with this team, kind of make it his own, kind of captain the squad. A lot of off-ball movement coming out for him, though, whether it's, uh, you know, the Dex is in and out when they're going off the reset, when they're checking the ball up. A lot of off-ball ways to try to get him involved. Which I, I feel like Locks will play a, a big part this year on the offensive side with them setting screens and all. I feel like Locks will be that X-factor to a team. Ooh. As good as guards can be as he gets the bubble stop. Dirt. And Look at that run. That is a 16 to 4 run. 16 to 4. That is actually insane. We are officially entering the scooper era of 3v3 in the NBA 2K League. Obviously, it wasn't a badge last year, and that's why we never saw it. But this year, I mean, 
everybody that's getting open, if they don't feel comfortable with dunking it, they're getting the scooper up, and it, it just get the shot gets off so fast. And the green window's massive, unless somebody's actually there to properly contest it. But if you have a step ahead, good luck trying to catch up to it. Yeah, if you're not if you're not there, like literally on the hip, and when I say on the hip, like in front of it, get scooped. Simple as that. Get scooped. Turnover. Well, that's out of bounds. A game that was once seven to two in favor of Kingsguard Gaming, twenty to fourteen. Now in favor of LA, they can close it out. Not just the game, but the series as well. Crazy has his takeover. They'll give him some space. Now look at it to Kai. Backdoor cut to VC. Just goes straight up with it. And Lakers Gaming start off their slam open campaign hot with a 1-0 series start. Good job out there by LA. Kingsguard saw a lot of good. Also saw a lot of bad, especially in that game number two we're gonna head to another commercial break when we do come back our 7 30 eastern time games those are gonna be start up i know i see a lot of people out there in the chat so make sure to stick around and we'll see you after this break Siempre a mi lado, cicatrices que has curado, cicatrices, cicatrices. En la vida me he enchulado y como tú no hay nadie más, tú un porro y los demás, ama. i 
Seems like his jazz buck that's new. Welcome back to continued coverage of the NBA 2K League 3v3 Blacktop Series Slam Open. You got myself, JT, here in the mix. And uh, it's been a, a really good start to the night, JT. I mean, I feel like any single time we can watch scrimmages, right? We can watch live streams or maybe get videos of these guys actually playing the league build. But it's different once you end up putting it into a competitive environment. But what's, what's your, your early thoughts on what we're seeing so far? I feel like it's definitely skill gaps everywhere so far. No, we're only in first day, but it's what guards can hit open, who's better at getting open, what guards are better at taking those angles to secure dunks, who's more aggressive going up for a dunk, what corners can shoot, what corners can't shoot. It's, you know, skill gaps, everything I've seen so far. But again, we're in day one. I will never get hype off anybody from day one because I've seen anybody be good on day one but from what i've seen so far i'm liking what i'm seeing from some of these things all right keys leave his airbrush t-shirt alone that was a cool thing that we had out in dc it's not it's not a flashback to mtv in the 90s okay that was <laughs> cool when we're in dc and i have one too i just don't know where it's at it's, it's somewhere folded up in in my closet i'm pretty sure yeah like so how i have my closet organized I have it color coordinated and brand coordinated and so whites first so when i was looking to pick some i was just like oh okay i, I could wear what the league made me and I, I just threw it on like can i can i can i get a break you know what i'm saying last time i threw a, <laughs> a turtleneck on i got i got caught the rock all night so i, I just can't win with y'all at this point And it's going to be a smothered one there. Cooks had a nasty shot that I really thought was going to be a little bit more contested. Um, but he ended up getting it to go. Also, got to give a shout out to uh, Matt Rolls, a.k.a. Bash, out there in the Twitch chat. Currently, he's playing in a NBA 2K mixed crossover real basketball tournament in Russia uh, with Ronaldinho's esports organization with Kalib Assam, who is actually a former guy who placed in the NBA 2K League Global Qualifiers back in 2020 in quick match and is also the gm of the brazilian e FIBA national team as well so uh shout out to bash doing really unique and crazy big things i know famous was like does anybody know that this is actually going down right now and man he, he's he made a free throw i think to put them in like the semi-finals or something it was it was crazy scenes out there in russia yeah, he walked up to the free throw line like laughing and smiling. Like like he just he just <laughs> knew it was money. He had to hit it forward to advance, but he just knew it was money. Um, I know JT, uh, Harris had our back, and it was 2-1 Pacers going into this game. So there are three away from being able to close this series out with Cooks making his debut with the team. Maybe some questions about what they were going to run. We knew Jay Snags was a guarantee. We saw how good Chess was at the guard position for indiana last year but of course with cooks coming in you knew something had to change up and we'll see if he can try to close out. he's got 15 of the 18. if that was last year's league build he's fading in that corner but there's icy with a steal we got b5 at warriors gaming squad there's this i have a feeling jt this this might have been the the team that you're talking about he said i'll get to them later in the show they're they're wacky so i'll get to them later is this the team it's definitely the team like like i was kind of going back and forth with the raptors because i had them as with a certain lineup as well but this is definitely the team like blazer five gaming drafted two shooting guards zero lockdowns and it looks like it because i don't see a faiz or phase i really have to find out how to pronounce his name and i don't see a ubot so it's just like i don't know i don't know like chaos at lock i feel like he's a really elite back end power forward so it's a very interesting lineup, to say the least. The MIDI. Very interesting lineup. I mean, that was one of the, the main concerns and, and stories on draft night. We all were just kind of scratching our heads, especially with how many lockdowns there were out there on the boards. And I think, at least when me and Harris were predicting their threes lineup, we knew Claude and Chaos were potentially going to be out there. I even floated a lineup where I thought U-Bots was going to potentially be the guard. She so like he moves a little bit better especially in a game mode like this, but this is not what I expected. I did I thought maybe like Fias is more likely going to be the lockdown for this team. So, 
I mean, if there's any opportunity, especially for Warriors Gamers about to bounce back, it's this game with a team that is running a little bit more of a funkier lineup, especially with the loss that they just ended up taking. Definitely had, that was definitely my pr prediction. It was Claude at point guard, Faiz or FaZe at lock, and then Chaos on the back end. But if it's one thing that I can say about Blazer 5 gaming to start a year, they're going to run a lineup that I didn't call. So I can only tip my hat to finding a way to stun me at the beginning of every season. Yeah, what was it? I think it was around uh, like a few weeks before the steal or, or made it might have been in the switch where they finally made a change and they were consistent with it and they actually started seeing more results. But the start of the year, we're just like, where's Claude? Where's the guy that you drafted this high? Where's Claude? Then they finally put him in and guess what? Start having a lot more success. And it's like, it's sometimes it, it's like that high of a pick doesn't always matter because look, MDS, he was, it was a two-time player of the week in point guard C's. Like that's way different than Claude not playing for Harvey. That's way different. C's already have proven his stripes in that, in that threes mode. Harvey didn't. For the Warriors still sticking with CB13, Nay at lock, and you got Super C's at the power forward. I know that they're probably wishing, man, I wish we could start off with fives. Just, just try to get their back-to-back -back out of the way. Uh, for the first time ever in NBA 2K League history, an organization brought back all five players from the previous season. Uh, so that's going to be a storyline as the season progresses on, and I'm sure that the Warriors will probably see them change some things up. I don't think that this is going to be that same lineup that we are going to see the entirety of the year. As Cease, pull up jumpers, green. <laughs> but, you know, it's funny. I just answered my own question. Name a team that had success on musical chairs. Plays a five game. They they ran every lineup possible. I can't name a lineup of they did chairs. run almost. Like I seen Harvey and Claude. I seen just Harvey. I, I seen just Claude. I seen Harvey and Claude switch what builds they were using like one guard uh one point guard one shooting guard so i guess there's my answer but one out of 25 is not good odds and to anybody out there maybe you're wondering well, where's the other teams that are playing uh instead of the command center this year we do have the other games that are going down that you can actually watch in the nba 2k league twitch team page uh, you can check it out twitch.tv forward slash team forward slash nba 2k league it's also the pinned message in the twitch chat if you are on desktop you can click there go straight through it also if you are on desktop as well next to the followers there's a purple highlighted nba 2k league name if you click that we'll see all the alt cast channels that we have which will have all of our other featured games that you can go over there and tune into as well so change up coming in here in our 2024 season It'll just make it that much easier for everybody else. I and mean, we get a lot of people, JT, right? We, we got our featured games. We got, where's this team? Where's this team? And uh, they could just click in and go. Where's DG season five, two? Yeah, see? Okay. Okay, good one, Bash. So, okay, two. So, I'll say two and it's one per season. One per season. So, well, if you're going to play musical chairs, with the help of Bash, will you be that one team that does it? Blazer 5, game in Season 6. Season 5, Wiz DG. So will you be that team if you're going to play musical chairs? Your chances are 1 for 25. Warriors Gaming Squad is hot right now. We got CB13 with takeover, 6 points, got 5 assists. I mean, we know we just talked about, right, a lot of just, they're just normal jump shots where we're taking. I, I saw Cease shoot that one. I'm like, okay, that, that gives me some faith. But then I also realized that Cease is the best power forward in the world. So it shouldn't shock me that he takes shots like that and greens it. Yeah, when he greened that left wing and I'm like, a little catch and shoot fade, I'm like, yeah, he has, he has just the utmost confidence that he can hit that. I like it though. I'm no. I'm not I'm not mad at it at all. And now I'm just waiting to see an actual pure fade come out. CB13. Oh my goodness! Let's have this dance, Claude. He makes his only three of the game, and that's to close it out there in game one. 23 to 12, victorious there for Warriors Game Squad. They're coming off a loss to Jazz Gaming. That went all the way to game five. So trying to close out their slam open opening night, one and one, but still got two more games to go. Sometimes you just need that wake up series that 
Uh oh. There he is. Uh oh. Let's say MDS served the suspension that very first game. Now we mentioned that he is eligible to play in this one. That's why we're seeing him out there. Debut for him in 3v3 at the guard position. I think he what snuck into like power forward one of the games last year. Yeah, quick little, quick little sneak in. I, I feel like that was their uh, Achilles heel. Hawks really started just switching lineups when they were hot. You know, like I, I just wasn't a fan of it. They just made these random changes, just to, just to make changes. Well, I, I can't say it's just to make changes. I know the exact reasoning, but I'll definitely pass on the, on the details of it. But. It's just, yeah, it was just their downfall to their season in this mode. Natalie Shooter, yes, your eyes do not deceive you. <laughs> just all hands. As MDS will get the ball. He's got two points here in this game. And there we get a live look at the Hawks Talent GC room. That's where they play, that's where they practice. I think it's hooked onto their actual NBA arena, if I'm not mistaken. Let's go. Oh, he drinked that? Boy, you a dog. I mean, something, right? Well, obviously, with MDS and, and the hype of him finally getting his chance to play guard in three versus three. I mean, look at the other side. Cavs Legion GC, a, a giant overhaul of the roster. They got Killy, who just won the 3v3 championship last year. DJ2 Cold, who had a crazy amount of success at NBL Oz Gaming. And then TB, who was making deep runs in every single threes tournament that we had with T Wolves Gaming. So it's kind of taking a little bits and pieces from other teams and putting it together to try to form something special out here. And then of course, coach Mike Check, formerly Warriors Gaming Squad, winning that championship going back to Cleveland. They were the team that really disappointed me last year because I feel like they had the, the lineup before the trades happened to be something. With that Antoine sub goaded in super seas, I'm like, they can really be that team that just kind of shocks people, even though uh oh come here i'm here but he has to green that. come here all right let me let me make this really easy for everybody because probably like, man i want to watch hawks and Cavs. so on the nba 2kl alt one channel that is where Cavs legion and hawks town are playing and also mavs gaming and t wolves gaming has started that is on the nba 2kl alt two channel or you can just click the team's page flip through every single one i know raptors gc is live as well they're also in the team channel so if you want to go watch either of those games make sure to head over towards that link but we are staying over here towards warriors gaming squad blazer 5 gaming good bounce back from the warriors and we'll see if b5 i don't expect a lot of like mid-series changes from any teams on opening night um maybe jumping into the second game but i i never know with like the time that they have to submit the roster and stuff like that i don't i don't i don't i don't really want to see mid series changes at all not this year i feel like this kind of because it's been multiple times where teams could have just weathered the storm and, and actually came back well like like they would look good in that game too but lose that game too and just switch it and then get swept so it's like and it's also unfair to the player that's being thrown in the fire all the other five have warm-ups have reps all of that Ooh. He actually got his rebound. <laughs> so it, it's just like, yeah, I'm I'm never a fan of like same series lineup changes because it's just unfair to that player. The midi. There we go. Got that one off quick. Um, it is worth mentioning as well. Uh, a lot of teams actually in their home markets this year. I know we had so many teams that were centralized actually in DC last year. Um, only a handful still out there at the the main operation out in the district e area but everybody else we got golden state they're back out there in san francisco portland obviously in portland so when you're looking at some of these matchups you're looking at the backgrounds like oh like where are they playing is this the same spot as last year no i think it's only four of of 25 in dc but it's the obviously the whiz nbl dukes the whiz, and then NBL, heat. dukes and the heat yeah i don't yeah. I, I i'm pretty sure everybody else is back in their market Oh, there we go. We got the. Oh, we had it up there for a second. This is game two. The Warriors do lead the series one nothing as Chaos knocks down a three from the top of the arc. Now up to a two point lead for Portland. Right here, right here, right here. 
I never can see the look. It, 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 it's there's nothing like makes me giggle a little bit because you know sometimes you got the Hawks right there in this whole facility. They got the dope background. Here you have 5v5 champions, Warriors gaming squad with the tea, the microwave and the refrigerator in the background of CB13. <laughs> <laughs> Simplicity. Uh, I was about to say, is that their apartment? Yeah, well, you, you remember, um, I, I want to say it was the season three run. They had a whole apartment, which they basically just converted into five gaming setups that were all right next to each other. So I'm assuming it's, it's probably something like very similar to that. Yeah, it's just it's something simple probably just have to just exit one room go to another boom they're, they're right there to where they're playing sometimes simple gets the job done oh he had the two there cb13 we were talking about that it's like it, it is a crossover but it's not a crossover if you know what i mean like it's not it's a crossover it's definitely a crossover, but it's not it's not as prolific as the Kobe. It's it's, it's not as dominant. It's not as fierce. It just creates so call much it separation. John Wall, but yeah, I wanna call it John Wall, but it just Ooh. it doesn't look as dominant as that either, so I have to find out what crossover is. You will inquire with the experts that be as chaos, he has his sharp takeover. Three-point lead right now for Blazer 5 Gaming. Trying to even things up. 1-1. CB13 knocks the ball away. Got to get something up here. Got to think Chaos is the guy to try to go to. He'll flare off of it. Shoots it over top of CB13. Can't get it to go. And it's going to be Cease coming out there. By the way, Cease's build is yoked. That is a bodybuilder. What did they make it? What's the weight? Is it Burley? It's got to be Burley. Yeah, I, I forgot who I seen on that build that looked up. I, I think I was watching a scrimmage with the Pistons, and Joe Mars' build was that big. The build was just huge, monstrous. Yeah, that's the fun part in the retail version of the game this year. Like, the different body types from working out in the Gatorade facility. There was one that Bag Motion had on his lockdown that was, like, Glenn Baby Davis big. Yeah, he had 90 strength. Like like most locks to start the year had 82 strength for silver for silver and movable enforcer, but he went the gold route, which takes 90 strength. So that gives you the biggest. Uh, oh, oh, what biggest, a swing! Oh That's a crazy swing. Dude. A crazy steal on swing. the inbound, a step in from half court three for CB13 to give the Warriors a two point lead. I'd rather see a five, like, like just any kind of, oh, he had it. He oh, had goodness, it. What a steal. Swing. CB13 gets it to cease. And they throw it right to the face of chaos. He gets a steal back on the other side. And Claw will throw it down and tie things up. That's huge. I feel like they, I, I don't want to say had the game, but like pretty close to having the game. And then they just, a couple mistakes. Like, I'm telling you, with only one group, one week of group play, every possession matters. I'm done saying every game matters. Every possession matters. CB gets it to Nay. Four seconds here to work with. CB13 just glides on down. Just a normal layup animation. No one can even get there to contest it. I think he tried to meet her down. <laughs> and he got a think layup. So? <laughs> yeah, I think so. I'm going to be honest. There's no way he went up with a layup that bold. Now you're in that safe spot. That's why you just take the quick two. They make a three. It only puts them up by one. They get anything. And you can just win it the next possession. 20-20. This is game number two. So still more action to come from this series. As Nay just will reset things back to CB13. Hit a shot from that exact same spot. That's what kick-started the run. Spin move. Okay. <laughs> back to Nay. Just getting uh, bumped around there. Okay. by chaos. Going street ball on us. Chaos jumps at it. CB13 waits it out. Charlie knocks it down. One miss in the game. Perfect from behind the arc. Warriors gaming squad take a 2-0 lead in this best of five. Demon pump bag. I really want to see how many guards start to do that because this is really the year that even out the corner, you can pump fake. They'll go right by you and you'll shoot it. It'll be wide open.
plus a great demon conflict by CB13 and got her out 2 0. Well, you, you play the game more than I do, and I even remember when I played, like, the, the ghost contests a lot of the times were crazy, especially like, when they were right on your hip. You're maybe getting, like, those 25-something percent. One thing I, I'm immediately noticing is that, like, you jump behind, and you were actually behind the person or to the side. I'm not seeing a lot of those, like, 6%, 20%. They're registering, some of them even wide open or open, Um, but, like, it's... There's been some contests that like this, the scene 50%. I didn't think that was going to be 50%. I was like, that's a late contest. Like maybe get a little something, but it, it's, it's the, the blinders probably playing a fact into it. But I think that's going to be something to look out for what you said, right? But pump fake, when you get them behind, how confident are you going to be shooting that? Cause other years you hesitate just a little bit. Maybe it speeds up your jump shot. Maybe they are able to get back and get a contest. This year. No, you jump, you pump fake. They jump there behind you. 95% is going to be at the minimum open. Might not be wide open, but at the minimum, it's open. So if they wait it out, like, but that would be a skill gap. You know what? Same thing with corners. And we keep and say this in five. What corners will actually pump fake, wait it out? Oh, he's past them. Shoot the ball. Like, that matters. We got to believe this is game two of Cavs Legion Hawkstown GC. Cavs definitely won game one. And, well, I, as we're, it's not a leash, you're just still in the chat. You can see MDS. He's put the long sleeves on that. <laughs> yeah, he, he wanted arms. And, and, and who knows? He still might not have arms. He just threw sleeves on. MDS will get it, pulls it back, takes the shot. And the transition leads to the miss. There you can see Mavs and T-Wolves. That one's going down. Uh, getting our first look at Igimo in the NBA 2K League. Got Bear the Beast at the lockdown. And, of course, Tutok, the number two overall pick in this year's draft. Out there at the guard position for Minnesota. No sub go to this. Oh, he's not even on a... Uh, he's on a, a bigger build. He has to be. He Because Tutok has... Um, he has McGrady base. See what he's so he's not for. even on a he's not even on okay, a so uh, I think for the first time tonight, uh Tutok is the only guard to actually bring out a shooting guard build. Um he's not on a point guard build, he's on a three point shot hunter three. Yeah, see? I told you one I, I knew that once I seen McGrady base. Once I seen McGrady base because th there is a height restriction on that. You have to be at least six five to use Trace McGrady. And with Patty Mills, you have to be under six five. Yeah, so he is on the build 6'5", 175, 6'6", six, six wingspan. Uh, one of the shorter wingspans that it has with a three-point shot hunter one. Hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm still a little stunned at the bear over sub. Well, I know that. They were, they were a team streaming a lot of their early scrims and kind of going back and forth. So... I'm wondering how much of it is just like a feel out process over the past couple weeks of them actually playing. Um, obviously, Bear's not going to load up and play guard, right? That's why you have somebody like Tutok try to fill the void of what Shifty Kai was able to bring to the table. But I, I just, I do like Bear being out there just from a leadership standpoint. I mean, it's one thing for him to be behind the team like he was last year, hyping them up, but to be able to control stuff in the game itself. But kind of on the same bandwagon as everybody else right when you think sub go did you think of threes and, and what he could bring to the table and how terrifying that sub go to iggy mo combo would be defensively um so maybe we'll see it in the future but yeah, as of right now bear to beast gets the starting nod but see i look at it a little different same way how i, I could do the pistons last year like even though they didn't use rainbow in their lineup like him being that extra set of eyes and really being able to see everything that that they can't see I feel like Bear would see would see the exact same thing in in a threes lineup. Like I've never known Bear to just be this elite defender. Now he can play defense, but you know I guess you know he'll just if he does turn out to be an elite lock in this mode, he'll just prove me wrong. But it's just to not see sub goaded here is a shock. Now this one right here is Warriors gaming spot up two to nothing. Um, so trying to sweep B5. Oh, 
Well, that'd be the first sweep. Chaos just has to put this one up. Blinks off the inside of the rim, pops out. Look at another chance, back with Claw. Feeds it down to May, and he throws it right down over top of a dropping cease. One thing I'll, I'll never say May can't do is rebound, especially on the offensive side. <laughs> That's what he's known Always. for. He's like a Dennis Rodman of like NBA 2K. Is All you think of is just rebounding. Yeah, he can he can definitely horse. I can never take that from him. He's one of the, the guys that no matter what center metas came about um, in retail, that man was always on a 6'11", 6'10", build. He was always on the small centers every single year. Octo, man. And Swan, yeah, no no U-Bots. I feel like the, the thing with U-Bots is I feel like he's a guard. I feel like if it, if it's anybody who's maybe should be out here, it's maybe Faiz, but Ubots is a guard, so it was probably picking between Claude or Ubots, and Claude had success to end the year. So I feel like the only way we see Ubots is if they don't have success and they take Claude out the lineup. I don't I don't see Ubots coming in to play lock. I see Faiz coming in to play lock before I see Ubots coming in to play lock. Got back-to-back -back triples coming out from Claude. Now he pops his takeover. 15 to nine. I think this is a similar scoreline what we ended up seeing in the previous game. And we blinked and the Warriors were able to swing the lead in their favor. As Cease, flare up, shot, money. We just can't fall asleep on that. We're up six. You can give up a back door, but you can't make it a one possession game. Oh, if he would have shot that, if he would have <laughs> shot that, I would have been like, man, I like, I like, I like the confidence. You, you, you would have got my, eh, you're different tag if you would have shot that one. But that's a shot we see maybe three weeks, three weeks into the season, I'll give it. Dang. Paul dancing that brought me in there on that one. So now it's a, a five point lead. Still just slowly but surely. In Warriors game squad, you got to bank on something on the inbound like you just did in that previous game. Got to get a score, get something outside, but that's going to be blocked from behind by Chaos. Look at all these other games going on. Cavs, Legion, GC up 16 to 7, make it 16 to 9. And Mavs Gaming just beat T Wolves Gaming there. Not sure what the series score is, but 21 to 18 there in that game there for Dallas. Losing to a slip is a little crazy. Little crazy. I mean, you, you got you got to kind of live with that corner hitting a shot if that's if you're gonna lose the game. But losing to a slip on this build, with all the misses I seen today. Oh, Claude oh, forces that's... this one up and can't get it to go. 100% smothered very early. Cease gets bumped by Claude down low. They'll go to CB13. Can it be the stop they Ooh, needed? Yeah. Steps oh. into it, a step in from half court. Can't get it to go. And did they get the steal? No, CB13, very, very close to getting. They just need buckets. They don't have to take bad threes. They just need buckets. And if Chaos doesn't cut, cut in, May probably has a dunk there. Ball oh, will get it out to May a little bit deep. Can't get it to fall. Some more chances going way of Portland, but it's guard on guard here. Claude, can he get the better CB13? He can again. I mean, those mismatches are killer. Every time we say sweep, it does not happen. Every time. No, we just got to stop, huh? I mean, really, it's not me. It's you. But, <laughs> um, it's, yeah, it's definitely more you. But I'll just stop also mentioning it. It's a ball game. Ugh. No, it is not. It was a, a line drive coming out there from Chaos. That would have closed out the game. CB13 will get it down to Cease. That's going to be knocked away. So all the way on the other side of the floor is where Warriors Gaming Squad will inbound with 11 seconds. And just a one for four from CB13. Oh, one from behind the arc. Now, I think my only true concern I have with the Warriors when kind of picking, right, is that CB13 and Mama are definitely not 
threes heavy guys and, and the way that they're able to dribble and the way that they're able to score it's not like a, a kai from the heat who's going to go out and get every single 21 points it's going to be a, a an affair that has to be balanced between the entire squad and i feel like at times you have to have that point guard who's just going to take over the entire scoring if you need to oh my goodness he left him in the third squad what a shot he had him touching the pavement on that one <laughs> Touch your toes. Come here. Uh. But great game by them to avoid the sweep. As another team avoids the sweep every time we call it. Wow. That was, I mean, that, that, that's crazy though. Every single time Claude got that. I think Claude, when he had CB13 on him, scored every single time apart from one. I think we ended up seeing in there. It's just the pullbacks, the Murray, like they... They're so effective. Like the point guard's trying to play defense. They, it's there's nothing. I mean, especially right there. That was back-to-back -back ankle breakers too. CB13, which is very unfortunate. Yeah, no, no, no ankle braces. It's just get cooked. Now I'll say it. I'll call it. This will be the first series. That's a sweep. Oh, I'll call it. Oh, there's TB with a steal. DJ too cold. We'll get it back over to Killy. And Kelly lines up a shot from the top of the arc. It's green for Kelly. Ten points for him. Not for TV. Four for DJ. Too cold. I think. Well, now this is probably two zero in favor of the Cavs. Yeah. Wait, Ten for twenty one. And you won. Oh, fellas, fellas, fellas. The game goes to twenty one, and they got twenty one shots up. Tape fry right corners money to tie things up here early in this one. I'm, I'm excited to see what Iggy Mo can bring to the table, especially like with his history over the years of playing just stage all the time, very popular, and all those Ticino wagers that he ended up playing. You, you would think, right, JT, with Iggy Mo, you put him up there right with like the impact that a Miami that we just saw him made early, like a low-key god. Like he has to be up there in those type of conversations in this specific mode in terms of his impact. And drafted fifth, he has to have it. He has to have that type of impact. Like, he was drafted way too high to not be a crucial piece in both modes. Especially since he came from this mode. He comes from threes. He comes from stage. That's a really crazy slowdown, and he cranked it. I was going to say Bear's player looks really big, but that's Iggy Mo who looks like Bear. Yep. <laughs> I saw that too. Well, honestly... When we jumped over to this and I saw at the very bottom of the screen, I couldn't see which player it was, but I saw the yellow Mohawk. I was like, did Bear change his position to power forward? Yeah, I'm like, Bear is huge. Like, locks are, are that big? And then I'm like, it's not even Bear. It's Iggy Mo. <laughs> They're trying to throw us off our game. Just realized we're not going to hear an and one for two more months. Ah, uh, not true. Well, maybe. See, maybe if they did it right there, you know, but it's like, I don't truly, yay, you're right. Even if they do get an and one, I won't do it in here. Shows World can you just watch the T Wolves. Yes, you can. Uh, we don't have Command Center this year, uh, but with all the other games that are going on, you can catch those games and the ones on our main broadcast on the NBA 2K League Twitch team page. You can check it out twitch.tv forward slash team forward slash NBA 2K League. Uh, if you're on desktop, you can click next to the followers button. There's NBA 2K League highlighted in purple. If you click that, it'll show every single stream. And then also pinned in the Twitch chat as well, there's a direct link to get you where you need to go. So we have this year, this is how it will be the entire year. We have NBA 2KL Alt 1, 2, 3, 4, all these other channels you go directly to to watch those games. So this is the feature matchup of the main broadcast right now, Warriors Gaming Squad and Blazer 5. So you can go to any of those channels to catch any of the, the off-stream matchups. And of course, we'll, we'll dive in maybe if this series gets extended or if we have some other time to go over to it too. This is a 2-1 currently in favor of Warriors Gaming What? Oh, just That's a guard! Nah, a guard making just... you miss that bad. He barely hit rim. And he just hit him with the Ilya Taporia and Alexander Volkanovsky. Look, bow. Give me that. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't have a clue what you're talking about. I <laughs> come, uh, <laughs> I am not one of those guys. If I don't know, I will say I don't know, and I do not know. <laughs> like, I'm like, who? Huh? Oh, come here.
kind of reference is this? Yeah, that's it. I, I, I know anytime I make an MMA reference, I know Moody's always there for me. I know I know Moody will... Yeah, there's a sure shot. Moody will know exactly what I'm saying. Oh, see, yeah. I, I, I had the wrong sport. I'm like, he talking about soccer or, or hockey. And he talking <laughs> about MMA. So, yeah, I'm just all the way off. It's a two-point game now. I mean, that was a crazy stop by CB13. And that's something I see. Like, you would think, right, with the guards' lack of defense, they surprisingly, if they're in the right position and whatever power forward or small forward is down there is not getting a standing dunk, they actually contest it pretty well, I feel like, compared to last year. It's almost like they know that they can't still backdoors all that, but if you just, like, wall up, you can get some beneficial animations. Definitely can. That one was fluky, but man, can we speak on the phenomenal defense that Warriors Gaming just had after Claude went to the paint, made, I think, Nay jump, and CB13 rotated back to Claude like they swung like just championship basketball. Championship basketball. Oh, there you go. Speak of the swing right on cue right there. Can they play the good defense for the full 24? They can, but... Of course, who else would it be down in the paint securely going other than May? Seven seconds to work with. Screen set by Chaos Claw will take the shot, and that's a pocket shot, and it's open. That's a big shot, but I, I like, I got this T Wolves game up on my other monitor. It's, it's twenty oh! to fifteen now. But it was fifteen to nine, and that was a five point game. Or yeah, now it was a two. -point. See, we're only seeing normal jump shots, and when I'm seeing like an in rhythm shot by a non point guard, it gets me, it gets me real excited. It dunked on. Yeah, I'm just happy to really like look at, look at everybody who like. I'm just happy to be back. It just brings a smile to my face, warms my heart. He got the slow. Oh, no way! No way they gave that. him that! No way they <laughs> gave him that! He got the slowest Euro in 2K ever, and he just got the pass out of it like it wasn't even a bailout. It's, it's, it, I mean, I need to clip it and go back and watch it. It looked like he like canceled out of the Euro and then passed, just did a normal pass out of it. That's what I'm saying. That's what it looked like. But unless, it, it, it you did. Know... The, the pass stopped him, planted his feet, and then threw it. That is crazy. But how do you how do you do that? I don't know. I think he just passed it normally, unless there's something we don't know. But like, it just didn't give him the bailout pass for it to CB13, putting on a show-stopping performance for us. I guess six assists, his first points of the game come from that. This is this is his second game in, in the series with five assists or more. He should have his own rebound. I mean. I, I, I clipped it. I might have to... I'll send it to you because I see fake. He said he passed fakes. He didn't get a pass fake animation on that. That's why I'm so mind blown. I just went back and slowed it down. His guy just got a clean... He passed it. His guy just stopped and then threw the ball. That was wild. Pass fake out the hero. It's time to load up and, tr and try that. You know what we call that, JT, right there? That was Luka Doncic-esque. The slow, the super slow Euro to just stop. So oh, slow. Like, like, <laughs> like, I was just about to say he's about to get that punch. CB is really starting to turn it on. Ever since that one pass that he made, he got the three after it, just got the two right there. And now Warriors Gaming Squad, any basket next time up, it'll close out the series and they will finish the night one and one. They took on Jazz Gaming earlier. That went all the way to a game five to which they ended up falling to Utah. Unrepairable, yes, Iggy Mo is playing. His player just looks like Bear the Beast. CB13 with the pullback. He's got the mismatch. Claw trying to stay in front, trying to get those ankle breakers. Cease will take the shot from the corner. That's going to be contested. Chaos to Claude. Pulls up, shoots it! Claude with a massive... <laughs> That's dirty. They needed that. And, and I, I don't even think he necessarily had to shoot that, but I like the comment, especially with, with Badge. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Behind the back, back CB13! The double Murray behind the back, CB13 gets it to go. Says anything you could do, I could do better. 
Warriors Gaming Squad take it by two. Oh my God, Chaos, may I have this dance? Come here. Come here. <gasps> Man, I started like, I, JT, that, that had me like this. Up on my seat, getting ready to break my chair. Come on. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Come on. <clears throat> well, mm -mm. they close out that game, uh, which means we are going to throw it to commercial break. Next slate of games are going to be tipping off with Nets GC and Raptors Uprising being the featured one. Don't go anywhere. Siempre a mi lado, cicatrices que has curado, cicatrices, cicatrices. En la vida me he enchulado y como tú no hay nadie más, tú un porro y los demás, jamás. This year, every single archetype that's selected is absolutely a build that's achievable in retail. So we don't allow anything through. <laughs> they're playing the game right next to me and they're having a good time. This is where I think the most critical part of our testing takes place. The relationship between 2K League, visual concepts, 2K, I think it's really important because all the different sides have kind of their own unique perspective. Open it, open it. Are you it Seeing everybody working, you know, day in, day out, just, you know, it gives you a greater appreciation of the 2K League. 
This is probably the most successful the league build has been uh, at the release, I would say. Uh, everything's running smoothly, there's no glitches, the, the builds are nice. They happen to play on Pro-Am Hall of Fame difficulty. If that's the way that you're playing the game in retail, going into Pro-Am, playing on Hall of Fame difficulty, you're getting the pro experience in retail. Oh, wait, you say you right for the good. Always, uh, I think my favorite content piece that we probably dropped before the season, JT, um, going from a time where the players didn't really get to test the build, it was just made, and then they got it, and then they could update things throughout it, but then finally bringing out the, the pros and some of the best in the world to get hands-on, make archetypes on the spot, give that instant feedback of, of what needs to change going forward. So I always love to see it. I haven't used it yet, so let's bring it out right now. No, 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 no. You do not get the league feel playing retail. No. They're not even remotely the same. Even Swan said it. And Swan, I know he plays retail way more than me. And, and even he said it when he came on the show for the closed qualifiers. That, like, if both modes are on Hall of Fame then those are both two completely different custom Hall of Fame sliders. Because just, no, I'm just, I'm not like, I, I'll, I'll, I'll die on that sword. Like, like, I'm just, I'm not, no, no just no, no shot. Yeah, it's, it's oh. oh, fair to beast, this to be a dog shot if it drops, oh, and it does. The pullback to 33 and green. It's 33. Oh, I'm telling you, we about to see heavies all season. I mean, I love the execution of doing something like that. And oh my yeah. god, different than Santa. That was from on top of the T Wolves logo. Bear barrels his way into the paint and scoops it up and in. Bear really has a hood on. Like, I, I'm so <laughs> used to seeing a yellow Mohawk. He has a hood on. But I think he has it on, so uh, uh, Tusak doesn't get him and uh, Iggy Mo confused. Honestly, probably. I don't even know Iggy Mo uh, went with the yellow mohawk. Oh, they double team out top. They get the trapper, just throws it right at Iggy Mo. Bear the beast, run out. T-Wolves Gaming. They'll take this one 22 to 18. See players getting up, putting stuff down. I don't know if that's just to dap each other up if the series is over. I don't. Uh, I want to say that's the series. Want to say? <laughs> yeah, I'm not not too sure. It looked like a lot of movement. I don't think it was that much movement for just a game win in the series. It looked like the series. I'm seeing uh, I'm seeing a lot of like unplug the headset, take the controller with me, and look like I'm getting out here, getting ready to go back to my apartment. So, um. Chalk say pretty sure it's 2 2. Um, so yeah, I'm, I wanna, I'm not I'm, too sure. Either way, T Wolves won. So that makes it that much worse. If it's 2 2, why did Fanta shoot that? On God's green nerf, why did he shoot that? It's a lot of shots to shoot in this game. I just don't think that's one of them. Well, we're jumping into our next featured matchup. This one, the 8 15 games that are tipping off. Um, it is 2-2, two, two, so that's going to be going down probably in one of the alt casts that we have on the stream team page if you want to check that out. Uh, we're going to be jumping over to Raptors and Nets as Seen gets to start off with our first very early contested shot. And we get to we get to give a Nets GC their grace, get to fully dive in and see what they bring to the table. Obviously, solid last year. I think as the year went on, the results started to decline just a little bit. Um, but you never know, right? When you go out there with the same lineup back-to-back -back years, this is their second year, they're gonna have this full three. What can this do for them? How big of a leap can they take? I can't even say they declined. They just could never get over that hump. Like they were third in money made. Like they just didn't know how to get over that hump. Like when they got far in the tournaments, they just almost forgot how to close games. And that was the same thing with the Wolves. Wolves would just look dominant and get far and then just start to just have mishaps in these close games late in the tournament. 
possible. So this game right here, if the Nets end up winning the entire series, they will go 2-0 to kick off the slam. And for the Raptors, they fell to the Knicks in their first series that we ended up seeing. So they're trying to break even after night number one. Oh, man. If that was really game four and Mavs were up 2-1, that's one of those shots if you're a fan of if, if you take it, if you take it, you, you have to green. It's a it's a demon shot if you green. If you brick it, oh, it looks abysmal, egregious, outlandish, downright frivolous. Yeah, it's definitely a very tough shot. There you go. That game five started between Mavs and T-Wolves. Uh, Cavs and Hawks still going at it, so I'm guessing with how much time has gone by, the Hawks stole a game, or is this bro? Every time, every time, every time, every every time we call sweep, it goes to four. Every time, tonight at least, it's a, a new season. Whoa, whoa, whoa! MDS dunk, layup, floater, scooper, something. <laughs> Hey, oh. uh, Bate just has to just chuck something up. Nothing there for him as Mads and T-Wolves trading back and forth here early. Not sure your fault, Bate. MDS has to, you know, hit the, hit the square button at some point. And Twan Love almost got blocked from behind there by Streets. I mean, I, I think it's pretty much safe to say that I, mean, I don't think the Nets changed anything up last year other than putting Steez on the inside at one point than putting him onto a popper. Uh, this is definitely going to be their three team the entire next three months. Um, I just can't see a world where Reezy comes into lineup or wherever we see Walnut go into lineup. Is that a bully ball down low from streets? Yeah, I, th I think the moves they made in the offseason was to solidify them in fives. I feel like in threes, as I spoke on, they were a top three, the third team in money made. So they have the pieces, they have the roster. They just have to, you know, finish games out late in tournaments. So I think picking up, trading for Reezy and, and Walnut was strictly to bolster their fives lineup, which they struggled in way more than, well, not way more. They didn't struggle in threes. So I don't expect to see Reezy or Walnut, so I can agree with you there. Yeah, I, I think for me, just it's kind of like uh, with Knicks gaming on what stick. Um, like when Streets is going crazy defensive and giving you these big time swings, like either knocking the ball loose, pressure on the inbounds, it just makes your life so easy. And I feel like when they did struggle, we weren't getting those performances. And there was a times where Streets' offense was very lackluster. He would have a lot of open uh, open opportunities that he just couldn't capitalize on. And this year it'll be bigger than that. I think he also has a, a, a jersey change. He's number 52 now. Yeah, yeah, That's he definitely awesome. does, doesn't he? Oh, yeah. What? <laughs> He's got a football number. That's an interesting number. But I would assume it has a purpose behind it. Like some players do favorite players, and some players just have, like, an actual reason. T-Wolves are up 12 to 6 over Mavs Gaming in this game 5 currently. You should. I, I still have it to, to this day, but oh, what was my number? I want to say, I'm just trying to pick back to season one. I say 24. There we go. Boom. I'm always, see, but whenever I tell people, like, I, I wear 23 whenever I play. Um, in 2K specifically, I put 41, but like in any other sport, put 23. But people are like, oh, you're just doing it because of Jordan. I was like, man, when I grew up, I didn't even know who Michael Jordan was. 23 for me is little sh Russian striker Andre Arshavin of Arsenal. <laughs> and everyone's like, huh? who? Who? <laughs> See, exactly. Who? Like, uh, yeah, I don't, I, I don't know many players of that sport. That's actually... Yeah, this, I'm at, I, 
I seen, you know, a, a couple people wanted in the chat to watch this, this game five of T-Wolves Mavs gaming. This is not a very competitive game five. The current score of the game five is 17 to 10. T-Wolves getting away. Seventeen, seventeen. Greens with it. It's going to be a reach going in there on crush. Ooh, two tag the sacks. They fly to had his dance. Twenty ten. He hit the same double behind the back that Keenan hit chaos with. Two tag just hit a fry with the same thing. At Twenty to twelve. T will trying to close this one out. So the Mavs are going to fall to 0-2 if they lose this game. 0-2. And it just goes back to that game four. It goes back to that game four, up 2-1. That's ball game. T-Mac is there probably so fluid in this build, so fluid. What a performance coming out there from Tutac. As definitely not the uh, the start that Dallas was hoping with getting Dave Fry back into the mix, getting such a phenomenal 3v3 guard in fantasy season. And they come out 0-2, fall into the Bucks, falling to the T-Wolves, which both those teams, no slouches at all. But hey, <laughs> that's just the level of competition that you're playing in the league now. There is no such thing as an easy game as the Nets End up closing this one out 22 to 19. This is just game number one. So the Nets will get off to a 1 0 start. That was for you, Dirk. You know, spoke on, you know, him hitting the dough shots. He heard you somewhere or somebody's <laughs> listening and told him about it. Ooh, 2020 here in this one. A close one. Uh, there's a chance for Cavs Legion GC to put the finishing touches on this, and it's Killy down the it's, baseline. No. It's gotta be game, right? Yeah. That's, is that the same way they like won the finals too? That same thing, Killy just scooping it in. Like, it's no way that's how we lose games in threes. Like, it's literally in the threes constitution. You do not lose to a two, and then a layup at that. Like, what happened? And I, and I was for the series. And I was for the series. Oh wow! Wasn't. Right, series is over now. It's over. That's what we lose to. Our last play of the night is a green. First mute gang. You're not muted, are you? No. <laughs> I'm muted? No, I hear you. <laughs> oh, who said mute gang? Matt did in the chat. He said first mute gang for the bunch of questions. Oh, I, I just can't catch a break tonight. I just can't catch a break tonight. Helium balloons, mute gang when I'm not muted. I just, I I can't win the lose in here. Uh, John know. B said, or maybe just speechless was Steven JT. I can, as the official ruler of mute gang, I can confirm JT was not muted. Stamp it. Where's my gavel? There. You're good. <laughs> But it's, like, been, it's been a fun night seeing it's been a fun night seeing all the the teams square off all the games that we've been seeing kind of the unique gameplay i mean not so much of oh, some guards going crazy with the scoring way more balanced attack than i think that we saw from opening night last year i feel like with a lot of like the dunks that the guards could get i mean how easy it was to maybe get open especially shooting fades i mean that's going to be the, the game changing part of uh, their shots i'm seeing people like lanes i'm seeing people get and i'm like oh man last year they would have ended up taking that fade they would have ended up taking that shot um but of course when we do start a new season a lot of rookies to try to look out for we have some rookies that we are looking out for to, to kick off this 2024 season i know one that i'm looking at not in action tonight but for me jt um very excited to see what jay bullen's gonna bring to the table i feel like it's gonna be kind of like last year power forward probably shifting over to play lock and maybe being like a little jay snags i mean how good he was for pacers gaming constantly how aggressive i feel like jay bullen might be able to make that same type of impact and i look at two tech and now that i know he's on the shooting guard build i also know that helps them on the defensive side because we've seen point guards get attacked all night whether it's slips or cuts you know you name it but him being on that bigger build it's no longer really 
a mismatch. And of course, I knocked my mic down. So I'm probably about to go helium voice again. I'm just waiting for it because that's uh. the last time I did that. That's what happened. But yeah, it's like that two tech. I think he's going to really come in and like, especially on this 6-6, six, six, which he played stage on all pre-draft. But like I would watch his streams. He's just in stage like labbing with a bigger guard while everybody else plays small guard. It's kind of the same thing. What Kai last year was on the shooting guard for so much of 3v3. I th I'm not sure if he made the switch to point guard going down the stretch to the standing dunk one, but um, but yeah, so that, it'll be interesting to see if they stick with it. Um, he's been the only person so far to actually bring out a shooting guard. Everybody else has gone over point guards. We do have our first official change, JT. Seam out, hum, in for Raptors Uprising for this next game. I think that should be their lineup. It should be um, at lock, rush on power four, especially since that's going to be their 5v5 lineup. If that's going to be your 5v5 lineup, I like to say give your lock and back in time to gain chemistry, even though it's really kind of a point guard and lock thing currently. But that's why I love is one of our better defensive point guards. But just like put your best defensive lineup out there. Give yourself chances to win the game by getting a stop. And two tag, he he went crazy in that last game. He had 17 points in their their victory in that game number five, and was perfect too in that game. As we got game number two, actually, oh okay, so that is Hom because I see the green hair, but it does say Ball Seam. So Ball Seam is Hom in this game. What? <laughs> hey, this chat, bro. Going yeah, at you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there you can see Tom in the seat. Coach Nick Gartrell, uh, newest addition coming to this Raptors Uprising organization up there in Toronto. And we saw how animated, how just good of, in terms of his preparation that he was as a coach. I think he took threes a lot more serious last year than he probably did when we we're out there in Indianapolis. And I really think it showed with T Wolves Gaming. Uh, so now it's time to bring what he did out there over towards this one. And you would think, JT, with having Antoine Love, that the the road to being good in threes almost seems a little bit easier. Um, but just with not seeing a whole lot more ISO, like I think last year we were seeing point guards just go directly to lock sometimes in isolation ball, being able to find ways to score. I have yet to see somebody just go full one-on-one -on -one with the lockdown and come out on top. I feel like it's coming, but it's just right now with the way guards look, it's like, what's the point? Like on the defensive end, it's like at, at least try to get the switch first. But I feel like the more guards get the dribble cancel down to where they can just switch directions, then they'll just go at locks because once you could just switch those directions flawlessly, Behind that screen, it was just change up. Like, I actually thought Greens would have it down more, but I don't think he does all the way. Maybe he does, but he's just not showcasing it because he is one of our better ball handlers. But I've probably seen a third of the guards like really have it down. Yeah, that's always like I, I would say that we hit. What, like the close to the end of week two is usually when we start to see, you know, different variations of style of play or this guy doing dribble moves that this person isn't doing and finding ways to, to create their own baskets. I, I want to say it's around that time, which is crazy because when we say JT deep into week two, uh, we only have next week is when bracket play starts and we only have shows the Friday and Saturday, I believe. So, like, that, that's the crazy part about this. There isn't a whole lot of room to grow and really try to perfect your craft, which I think it's just going to show it's going to be a lot of out-of-game stuff, right? When you're not actually in the competition, whether it's practicing playing scrims, whether you're playing tens with some other guys in the league, whatever it may be, to try to get that down. Yeah, and see? See? Now, see, Antoine Love has it down. Just watch him dribble. He has it down. Now, he's moving like that. You can't do that without the cancel. Be like our first pull-up fade that we've actually seen off the dribble coming for somebody that isn't a point guard. As Antoine gets bumped on the left out by Streets. They get it to Crush, trying to force feed it down to Hom. 
Antoine Love crushed on the inside. Going to be blocked. Shot clock violation. Going to be the next ball going back the other way. Yeah, we can't we can't hit the point guard there. When we want a grenade up, it, it has to go towards it has to go to a corner player. So I don't blame Antoine Love for not shooting that, but, but at the same time, that would have had to be the one exception he had to shoot it because it was no way Crush could. He was crashing for a rebound. There we go, one-on-one -on -one green. He's got Antoine Love on him, kicks it to the corner of the streets, doesn't take it. Good shade coming out there from Antoine Love, but there's an opening, and they find greens, and he'll green the shot. Antoine Love has to leave. He has to maybe fake step Steez and just make Steez shoot it. He can't just give greens a free opportunity for a wide open standstill spot up. Here's the mismatch. Two guards that as soon as they get this switch, like, okay, I, I'm in attack mode. My, my one goal is just to put this ball in this basket. Both get the better of each other here so far. Green's with the takeover now. As off ball screen's gonna be set. A lot more off balls, I think, from every single team that we've seen uh, tonight than honestly that we saw for a large portion of last year. As Streets knocks it down. He heard you. He heard you. He letting that thing fly. He heard you loud and clear. But, but that's what I'm saying, right? Like, we know we get these games from Streets where he just doesn't miss a shot. But there's just sometimes, which I understand, you cannot be perfect every single time you step out there on the floor. But it's like it always hurts when you're in those big game scenarios, right? Doing it in this in the group play stage to solidify yourself is great. But when it comes down to the money, and there's just open opportunities that you have to knock down for your team. That's the ones that we remember more than anything that you're hitting down the stretch in these ones. 100%, 100%, 100%. That's why I so like, I'm I'm so, oh my. Big shot by Antoine Love. I'm happy to, that we're back, but I feel like next week is when it's going to really get crazy. Like, next week is going to really get real because at that point, everybody has their runs everybody has had their warm-ups like everybody had that week of really playing the game whether it's you know live or a scrimmage or just even putting in your own hours i feel like on this build you have to really go put in your own time well remember too every single team in the nba 2k league all 25 teams they will make bracket play with the seven community teams that are thrown into the mix but so it's like no matter how bad that you play in this stage, you're still going to go through. But it's just a matter of your seating and how hard the road is actually going to be for you. That's the thing. I, it's, I, I will say, unlike, well, last year it was a problem too. I feel like you had to worry about the community teams, but I feel like you kind of still do. Because I know now that those seven teams are qualified, they're going to be locked all week. They're going to be playing the game like they are a pro team. The series of that game. Ooh. What's the Nets Raptors series? 1-0 uh, Nets? Right? Um, yes. Yeah, 1-0 Nets, Big Russ. Um, we also look at the bottom of the screen. We got a revenge game. Cooks, for the first time, playing his former organization. Uh, but this time, him wearing the Pacers colors. We'll have to see how that series ends up playing out. As ball's going to be Ooh. knocked away here. They do get it back to Antoine Love. Ten points in the game. And going heavy here on the fouls of Streets. He's got three. Beef game. Beef game. Beef game. Crush gets it. Quick pass back over to Antoine Love. Down the baseline. See, oh, sorry, Hom down there with him. And Antoine Love will just opt to go with the standing dunk. He just did the hokey pokey and still got a stand dunk. <laughs> like, I got oh. to look at that dude. The easy back door. Bucks, anything away from taking this one. As Dimes will chase. The all six on Cooks. Only one adrenaline bar left. And they find the easy feet to chest for the two. That's a two-point game. Also got Kings are gaming and Jazz gaming going on right now too. Can Jazz gaming continue and finish the night two and zero, or can Kings guard finish the night nice little five hundred? Oh, score! Come here. 
Dawsix gets it to Johnny Red in motion for Johnny Red. And hey, guess what? He greened it. 10 points for Johnny Red in there. And that one is Bucks Gaming. Leave take that game number one. And Nets GC, they now go up two to nothing. As we jump on over here to Jazz and Kingsguard Gaming. Give Justin, Miami, Kaze starting off their first series hot. Ended up taking down Warriors Gaming Spot in game five fashion. So trying to go 2 and 0 here to kick off the slam open. It's see, there see? and oh, it's open. He didn't have to move. That's what I'm saying. Him, him moving. He stands there. He pump fakes. He has a wide open shot. I see a lot of people asking Good about the that. other games that are going on, wanting to watch Pacers and Bucks. Uh, the other two games that are happening, we do have alternate Twitch channels this year instead of the Command Center. You can catch those games and our main broadcast on the new NBA 2KL Twitch team page. You can check it out, twitch.tv forward slash team forward slash NBA 2K League. Or you can click the pinned message in the chat. It'll take you to one of our alt uh, streams that we have out there too. So that's where all the games that'll be on that aren't on the main broadcast if you want to go over there. So far, positive reviews. I know the people are really, really liking having those streams. You know, I actually, I, I like it a lot. I like it a lot. I actually like it better than Command Center, to be honest. It's just much more like, I don't know, it's much more seeable. Oh, my. Watch your head. There's a little oomph on that one. Yeah, right. Just a two-point game. That's going to be knocked away by Justin. The rare point guard steal. On the inside, the crossover, oh, the dunk, oh, and hey. a 360 for Justin. I'm telling you, he, he, I'm expecting him to have a year. This whole team, but like, like he's really at home right now. That's a great swing. He's able to respond with a dunk, but forgive Justin. Maybe with the dunk of the night so far, I might say. I mean, so oh, I mean, definitely dunk of the night. I'll probably see social media. There was a game that's happening off broadcast or something. It's Justin from the right corner gets it to go. The little inside out move coming out from Justin. What a performance here in this game. Hardness to see that's really the move right now. Oh, score from that way downtown. Can't get it to go. Oh, wide that's open not. up the catch and shoot. <laughs> I'm not mad at letting him. Shoot the first one. The second one? Yeah. And the second one, catch and shoot with a guard from the top of the arc. It's going to be money every time. Justin on the inside, standing dunk this time, showing you a little bit of everything. He had the 360 on a driving dunk. Now he got the standing dunk. He had the three from the corner. And there's going to be reach from Kaze to pause the play. Nah, he's open. He's open. He's definitely open. Someone in the chat asks, is there a link to the bracket? Bracket has not been made yet. This is the group stage of the Slam Open. And it's currently going down from today, tomorrow, and Friday. Next week is when we'll have an official bracket. And that is when uh, the road to the money games will begin. Justin takes the three. That one's going to be contested. Miami gets it. Catch a shoot shot for Justin. Cash is in this time. 14 points for the rookie to close out that game. Telling big here i'm expecting big things from this team and big things from him like that's the one thing i'll say like i love this year is we just do not have many teams that are not built for 3v3 like like we, we probably have two or three at most peculiar lineups tonight and i don't even think it's two it might have been one and that's straight off the dribble so Raptors right here trying to avoid the sweep. I'll say it, JT. We want more basketball. I thought you said they switched. They did. It's just the, it's just the visual thing. Remember from last year, like if you oh yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, Holmes player that does, or yeah, his player does have like green hair. And the only thing making me remember is the green hair. And when oh. we had the webcam up, I was like, okay, that's Hom. Greens for the left side gets it to fall. Yeah, I remember when production gave me a rainbow fro. Oh, yeah. Then a and green. there's Hom. Green's his shot. Seven to three. 
As screen's gonna be set here by Steve. Streets in the corner, Crush jumps at it, and Streets with the pull up in the midi. Yeah, yeah, just did. <laughs> yeah, yeah I like thought, a wasn't the biggest fan. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I, I wasn't the biggest fan of that one. I love I the idea of it, good. but. That's late. Very late. Very late, 19%. And the Raptors getting a lot of momentum here early in this 3v3 game, 9 to 3. And okay, Olay defense. Green just finds himself a wide open lane. And this is Nets are up 2 0, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So avoid them trying to avoid the sweep. Uh, stand up. I was about to say, you cannot meet the dunk that stand up. And it's going to be Hom. Forcing that one up, gets his own rebound. This time, we'll just slam it right over top of it. That's what I'm saying, though, right? Like, that first one looked like it could have went in and probably should have went in. But just that the guards being in that certain position, it's, it's changing some things up with the paint defense compared to what we maybe saw last year. I feel like it's way less ratings-based this year and way more position-based. If you have the right position, it'll pay off in your favor more than, than it would because you're interior is high or other stats are high like which is why it in retail you'll watch actual bigs get meter dunk in the paint like it's nothing because they're just too deep in the dead zone big shot you couldn't get a whole lot of the other shots to go the streets has taken her early in this game but capitalized on his third opportunity they bring it to within one yeah it's, it's really like when you're seeing the cards right it's just all about that positioning Instead of trying to run shoulder to shoulder, or even gambling for the steal, it's all about fighting under to make sure that if they catch the ball, you get the, the body bump animation that forces them to fumble. And good ball move here from the Raptors. Antoine Love will capitalize. A little too much swinging. I'm just not a fan of just giving the giving the highest three ball on the court, just open spot ups, like not off the dribble, but just open spot ups. I'm just not a fan of it. And that's and I've seen it happen multiple times. It's a little too much over swinging, and that person on the point guard just does a little too much when they should be staying home. Ooh, pinched in between. Double team, 9%. That's no good. The Raptors making real good progress to try to extend this series. What is streets this game? Shooting wise? I gotta look. Because I know I games he's... one and two. I think it's one for three. Oh, okay. Uh, they hit that start button so quick. Yeah, there was no chance. But yeah, game's one I, and I two. I want to say he's one because he had the, the wide open shot from the corner. The very first one they took at the game missed. He shot the weird pull-up midi, and then he made his third shot, which was the one at the top of the arc. Okay. Man, how do you even know what you're reading of how quick you're hitting start twice? <laughs> Oh, that's that a bugger. Is. Let's just move on to the next game after this one. So the Raptors will close it out pending a complete collapse. And the Raptors went heavy on just utilizing Hom and just playing bully ball. That That is all Thank they you. did is kept force feeding him the ball down low and just trying to give him the green light to go up on the guard. That's why I said I, I feel like locks will be X factors this year until guards become just super dominant like we always see him get at some point in this first week locks will be the x factor yeah streets is one for three he was 10 for 11 on the series coming into this game um, um, i think he finished with 16 of the 23 saying that with a little bit of hesitation because it might have been 17 i want to give him his just due as the pacers wow up big time here in this one 20 to 10. Beef game, I like it. Oh, if they go to a game five fine. and Pacers win, we're back on. Oh, that was quick. <laughs> yeah, I seen it too. I was like, wait, 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 wait. Then I'm like, okay, never mind, we're good. By the time I I said the third weight in my head, we was back live. If Pacers was, win this uh... game, folks will be on Twitter. But go ahead. I was so um 
I was so shook yesterday with the weather that I was getting. I was like, man, like it, it's not even in summertime yet. I'm already having maybe like connection issues with myself, like straight at the beginning of the season. I'm happy everything cleared up here today, but the Pacers do end up taking that game. As we hop on back over here, I, is this 2-0 or 1-0? 1-0, I'm pretty sure. It's just not the 14 point game. Unless there was like a sneaky fast game that ended up coming through here, which I really doubt. Possibly. And Kaze lines up the shot. He'll green that one. So it's 14 8 here in this one. As we'll come back to myself here and JT. The game's continuing to roll through the entire night. Yeah, make sure you refresh your stream out there too to, to get things back up and flowing. But we're going to go to a quick commercial break when we do come back on the other side. Continued coverage of the Slam Open continues. Siempre a mi lado, cicatrices que has curado, cicatrices, cicatrices. En la vida me he enchulado y como tú no hay nadie más, tú un porro y los demás, ama. Como pacha y no te echan a ti, un chorro y niña y tú no We are back and we got gameplay right off the rip as it was Raptors uprising, avoiding the sweep. Kind of been the story of the night. Every single team, every single time a team has gone up 2-0, I mean, that team that's down, they, they take at least game three. 
Uh, but the question is, trying to pull off, I think, we have yet to receive a reverse sweep on the night. I, I will say that again with hesitance. Yeah, I'm, I'm. I don't. I don't see that happening. I feel like teams that have gone up 2-0. I do like to see some fight, and we have seen some fight. And then they go on to lose game four. I don't think any of our series that have went to game five have been 2-0. Takes a lot of wind out of your sail sometimes with that pressure, especially if you're playing grueling game threes, not ones where you're dominating. We'll see if they can pick it up. Oh my goodness, that should never happen. Steez gets in the lane right there off the inbound. And that ball's going to be slapped away. Oh, it's going to be saved. Hom gets it to Angela Love. Back down to Hom and they throw it down with two hands. Ah, as my former teammate Gilly always used to say, you, you cannot teach that want to. And you know, he just wanted that. He wanted that more than him. Steez down low. Positioning, bro. Oh, Antoine Love actually jumped at it and got the stop. Positioning, I'm trying to tell you. That's where I feel like last year, the, the main skill gap that we saw from guards, right, was just how well can you steal the back door? Uh, you just saw Frank Green's there. He was in perfect position, didn't even think about pressing a button. I think now they're, they're really, really just trying to constantly go for that positioning over all else. Like, that's all you can do, but it's also all you have to do. Like, you don't have to be just any kind of high, like, any certain rating. Like, you just have to be in a certain spot to make sure that they cannot get a dunk off and they're likely to get a stop. Got Pacers gaming, Bucks gaming there in the bottom. Uh, Pacers up 17 to 13. Uh, is, uh, is that one split 1-1? One, one? I think it's 1-0 oh, Pacers maybe? Uh, yeah, 1-1, yeah, 1-1, one, 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 one. Yeah, yeah, no, you're right, actually. So Pacers trying to fight to go up 2-1 there in that as back here over towards this one, Raptors do have that early lead. I mean, I, I feel like if there's going to be one person that's going to really show, okay, like this is what guards can do on the league build. I'm looking at Antoine Love. Green's another one of those guys. But you, you know who's the main person I'm waiting to see? He's, you know, I would, I would have thought they would have been in Miami, but they're in D.C. That's who? Yeah, I was so confused. Yeah. I was like, wait, where, where are you going with this? Yeah, you talking about Kai? Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I said I thought it would be in Miami with their DC. Yeah, I was confused too when I saw, I think it was like famous post, um, I think like their like gear. And I was like, oh, they're in DC too, okay. But uh, yeah, I, I'm really excited to see because especially what Kai showed us last year. Um, like, I feel like he's just going to be one of those that's just going to come out, like, on a tear. High expectations for Kai, especially after last year. Uh, Trell said the fans get eliminated. No, there's no getting eliminated in this tournament. No matter what, you will be in bracket play, but it's just going to impact the seeding that you have. So you could go Owen, oh, whatever, lose every single game that you play in this group stage. You will still make it to the bracket, but your road is going to be no very, very tough. No way. No way he went up with that. He did. No way. And see, I forgot what I was about to say that quick. Oh, speaking of gear, I'll be completely honest. Best gear in 2K League history might be the jackets that Big West just gave the horn. I think I saw those. It's like the, the Jeff Hamilton looking like varsity jackets. Not like the leather the, ones, right? Like it's like the kind of like starter jackets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, back from like the 90s. Like, I'm just, bro. And I've been here since day one. So, so it's not like people could, could tell me some, oh, you know, you it's some things you haven't seen, bro. No, it's not. Like, those jackets are insane. Fire. Big West. You know, big, big round of applause. Those things are gas. Steez will reset it with greens. And back out to Steez on the pop from the top of the arc. You betcha. It's money for Steez. Now 16 to 9. Uh, Pacers took game three. Cooks ripped Johnny Red and then Green to three to take the series. Three. I know he was talking crazy after that play.
Are we going to? Oh yes, it's. See, this looks like what we've been saying. How teams are up two two zero, lose one, and then take the game three. Oh, and one. Except no free throw. Hit the same but, uh, yeah, see, that's yeah, why. Like, that's why I can't say it. Oh, Justin just just, just asked him that his dance. He smoked it though. Eighteen twelve now. Antoine Love gets his way into the paint, reverses it. And up. So what for the, the Raptors? They fall here in this game. It'll be an 0-2 start for them, which, again, I, you and I talked about it a million times. Harris has always talked about it. Every single show that we had when we were talking about Antoine Love and the, the, the stuff that he was putting on in 5v5, like, man, we get him in 3v3. It's going to be different. Whoever has him is automatically going to be in uh, title contention. Um, underwhelming start, would you say, for the Raptors if they lose this? I do, but I also don't like that they didn't come out with what I think is their best lineup. I think they have to let this lineup die. Like, like just this is what you just ride with until the wheels fall off and just say, you know, okay, it is what it is. Greens to try to close it out, pulls it back, gets him up in the air. Hom jumps at it. Greens makes the shot. Perfect from behind the arc, 14 points in the game. It's Greens and Co. picking up right where they left off from last year, coming out here into our 2024 season. They close out the series 3-1. Well, actually, you know, and he just, he doesn't even move. You know, no emotion is just like, uh, you know, I've, I've been doing this. I didn't expect to lose, and that's just like the attitude he had. This one's 17 16. Uh, Justin coming out hot in this rookie campaign as kick misses the shot. Bray will get the rebound and it'll be Miami reaching in. He's got 15 points here in this one and he, he's really been showing us a little bit of everything. It's, it's not a one dimensional attack that maybe sometimes you see from rookies. Definitely giving it to us in many facets. And in this game, I feel like just for the Oh, lay me. Lay me. That was like a weird kind of looking layup, too. Like, it wasn't just a regular layup. But he's going for a three here. How do I tell you? Let's see if he does it. What did I say, man? Lost, man? Shot and can't get it to go. Oh! They got a 13%. Now Bray from the right corner gets it to fall. And Kingsguard game and take it. The lucky sevens across the board for points for Kingsguard Gaming. 21-17 there in that one. And I'm assuming things are tied up or it's 2-1. I don't know. <laughs> uh, I think, yeah, I think it's 1-1. One, one. I think it's 1-1. One, 1-1? One. One, one. Yeah, 1-1. One, 1-1. One, one, one. I can I almost yeah. confirm. Almost. Almost. 1-1. One, one. Well, uh, the night continues to roll on. I know that soon we're going to be having those games that were scheduled to tip off at 9 p.m. coming up. So we're going to throw it to commercial break. When we come back on the other side, those games will be underway. Fall in a second if you let me Cause you're all that I want Could you let me in The last drink was the last drink But I don't want to leave I want to get closer Don't want this night to be over want to get closer It's not over Yeah, we could go back to my place Cause I don't want to waste no precious time so let's go back to my place If it's only for tonight, let's make it count I love it, how your touch feels I love it, how you look at me in my place No, I don't want to waste no precious time You said the last kiss was the last kiss Make it hard for you to leave Telling secrets in between the sheets I don't want you to leave I would fall in a second if you let me Cause you're all that I want Could you let me in? The last drink was the last drink But I don't want to leave I want to get closer Don't want this night to be over I want to get closer It's not over we could go back to my place Cause I don't wanna waste no precious time So let's go back to my place If it's only for tonight, let's make it count I love it, how your touch feels I love it, how you look at me in my place No, I don't wanna waste no precious time Don't waste no precious time 
Aquí siempre a mi lado, cicatrices que has curado, cicatrices, cicatrices. En la vida me he enchulado y como tú no hay nadie más, tú un porro y los demás, jamás. Well. Uh, we were tuned in on the Altcast number two, looking at that finish to Bucks and Pacers, along with hundreds of other people, and uh, the revenge game, JT, that so many had their eyes on. Um, we all saw social media after Cooks ended up well one going to the Grizz and then over to the Pacers. Um, he got his revenge in in impressive fashion, might I add, and we just saw it. He clipped the game winning shot. So let's keep an eye on X over the course of like the next five, 10 minutes. Yeah, he told, he told two former teammates to come here. May I have this dance? And they told him, no, you may not, because they were nowhere to be found. Very impressive coming out there from Cook. So, Bucks gaming? Um, well, yeah, the, the one-on-one -on -one now, right? Or is, is that the series? Yeah, yeah, Should series over, series yeah. over. It was over, and that's what made it crazy because he he ended every game crazy, like game three or game four. He he plucked Johnny Red and went and hit a, a three in the right corner. Like he ended every series with like a a statement trade ball. Now this that's one uh, we do know that this was two nothing in favor of Jazz game, and then the Kings took that game three, which made it two one. So teams are doing a phenomenal job of fighting off the sweep tonight. And 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 I love that. I like like I'm I'm not the type that wants to see anybody dominate. I like competitive games. I, I love to see teams just like really get gritty and at least get one. Because if you can at least get one, I don't see no reason that the lineup has a change. Especially with the Kings too. Like, when's when's the last time the Kings just had a, a phenomenal start to the season? Can you think? Uh, three. Season three. Yeah. That, was, that would be my. That would be my guess. Tough. I mean, Season like that, that. That's that's a that's a long drought. <laughs> that was well, we'll be in season seven. So yeah. I remember. You remember too? Like I mean, they had that roster of Mama and. Uh, Miles, Walnut, who else? Was it Crush? Yeah. Even then, couldn't get anything with that team? I feel like, but but that team, if if anything, more than maybe any other team in 2K League history, showed me names will always be names. Games still have to be played and fit in structure matters. I yeah. feel like that 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 team was just a a load of names that just didn't necessarily fit. Justin has been uh, going quick to using the dunk meter more than a lot of the other guards I've actually seen here tonight. As this one's eighteen eighteen, we have Knicks and Cavs tipping off. Uh, both teams won their first series of the night, so trying to extend two and two. Sorry, two and zero, oh, and someone has to lose. And we'll see Killy with Feast on him very first possession. But both games, I mean, it's Jazz one looking to be a goodie. And then next basket, they'll take the series. Oh! Stick off the backboard gets blocked block. there by Stick. Did I hear you say both teams in this series are 2-0? No, right? 
No, one and oh. That's the trying to extend the oh, two. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I thought I heard you wrong. I'm like, how is that possible? <laughs> I'm like, where, where, where have I been half of that? And now it's 2020. Oh, last I, oh this will be the four, this will be the force of game five. Yeah, I jinxed them. Miami here's missed the open. Kick won't take a shot. They'll get it back to score. He's got his takeover. Now he's got the guard on. They jump at it, and they don't get a contest. Heads to shoot to slightly early on the open. Uh, I see Justin ending this with a meter dunk. Kaze stops, pops, left corner. No good for Kaze either. Score brings it back out to three. They go to kick now with Bray. They can breathe for a moment. Pick and pop action. Score. Bray. Trying to get some space in the middle. Kaze all over him. They feed it down. Oh, oh it's the PJ. It's Justin oh with the God. stop. Justin on the right side gets it to Miami for the game. How many times have I said that over the course of the three years? Miami knocks it down. Jazz Gaming close it out. Oh, point guard would have stopped for your win or for your game five. That's tough. Man, that was crazy. <laughs> Super. That is a that is a massive like the point him just charging at it, and again, punching him in the face as he's going up and gets the ball. All you gotta do is I'm I'm telling you positioning like I I believe it now, like I I always believed it, but now I'm just like I'm just like I'm the biggest believer ever. Guards. Getting stops in the paint. Welcome to the 2024 NBA 2K League build. DJ2 Cold. Phenomenal shooter, but those shots have been tough for anybody that isn't a point guard to hit. I was about to say, that, was, that, was, that was real gangster, but he smoked it, so that looked like a, a bad shot now. Oh, TB will knock this one away. They feed it down low to Feasty Pump Fakes, and that's going to be blocked by okay. DJ2 Cold. They got a three on two. DJ to TB up with two hands and throws it down. Uh, we are officially entering our last games of the night. Uh, we got this series that's underway. Uh, we'll also have Lakers Gaming taking on Blazer 5 Gaming. And then we'll have T Wolves and Grizz also tipping off. Bro, I almost want to tape this headset. Why? I don't oh, know if my head is too big. I, I, mine is. Uh, mine's taped. Yeah, because this is wicked. I don't know if my head too big. I don't know if my fro too big, but this thing. Yeah, you know just, see, it, look, it just did it again. And then when it does it, 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 it like gives me a headache. So if there's one, it, oh yeah, the like the metal just like sticking to your, your skull. Yeah, um, yeah, it gives me a the headache. Plastic. So basically, what it is, it's just a it's a defect. It's, it doesn't lock properly. Like I remember as soon as I took my headset out of the box, that same thing happened. So. It's just, uh, I mean, you've been using it for a while too, right? So it's, yeah. it's, just, it's just a normal wear and tear, but it's, it's painful. But yeah, I need to, I need to retape mine, but with black duct tape, because I have silver duct tape on the top of my head. So whenever I dip my head down, it's not too pretty. Yeah. Cool. Oh. All right. It's 13 to 12. Uh, DJ too cold popping the playmaking takeover here for Cavs Legion GC. As Killy just quite game so far. Four points for him. As they give that one way too easy to feast. And next game, he's not taking the lead. So weird seeing like these guys I... in the Cavs jerseys, by the way. <laughs> yeah, it's a whole... What's the only player who was there last season was Antoine? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah, like Killy, Dukes, TB, T-Wolves. DJ used to be T Wolves, then then NDL, and then Slaughter T Wolves. Like, hey, don't forget to throw the Jazz in there. Who? Oh, oh, Slaughter. Yeah, the, no, I, but I was, <laughs> but it was because that uh that that um front court was was all together at one time. That this TB DJ and uh, Shifty. That's why I brought it up. They were a form of front court. It almost airballed. 
It's almost like a T Wolves Gaming 2.0 from a couple years back, just replacing yeah. the guard positions. And it's got to get it down to feast. It's got to get something up. They go to stick. He'll flick it up, and that's phenomenal defense. Everyone getting hyped up there. Oh, what is it? Oh man, well, I can't think of the name. It's gonna hurt me. Is it the is it the the Legion Lair, the Cavs Legion Lair, or something like that? Is that what their facility's called? Uh, yeah, I wouldn't know. Wrong person to ask. I think it's that. I gotta be close. This is where Got usually we test. Like, what what executive? Hmm. Air ball, right? Yeah, the hit the the net, and that was oh, it. Okay. The Legion Lair. Okay, yeah, I was right. I saw oh, all the rocket wait. mortgage. So I was like, is it? What? What is it? What is it? That's a that's a tough air ball for Killy. Eighteen to six. Yeah, nice little stop and move here on the left side. Doesn't take it on the inside. Killy will stop and pop, and that one's gonna be. I thought it was smothered, but it was very early. That's why he got the crazy yeah, animation. Either. But stick down low, misses the layup, gets his own rebound. He got his own board. That is actually insane, and that's ball Malik game. gets fouled. A foul is crazy. That was a good late, late, late run out, and he got a foul. You know my question is going to be to you right off the rip, JT. What? Do you miss seeing fades like consistently from the guards? Yes, kind of, sort of. Like but Malik right the there, if that time, was last year, he would have just faded in the left corner and probably gamed it. Which I think, yeah, he still should have, to be honest. Like, that has to be the shot. Killy, big two-hand slam for him. We'll tie things up at 18. Just generally wonder if, it, if it's going to be like one of those things where we just will not see anybody shoot those or if it's still more of a comfort thing until somebody finds like a, a good fade to use. Like who, who, who knows? I need to ask the players and get into their minds. But yeah, I strictly think it's a it's a it's a comfort thing, especially for guards. It's pro two or Trey Young for smaller guards. And if you're a bigger guard, it's just pro oh. two. I mean, if you like Kobe, <laughs> Kobe is like pro two, it's just a little slower. And that's a crazy way to get a stop. I, I mean, that was a bullet pass going back the other way and didn't even get close right over top. This is just game number one as the Knicks looking to try to close it out. Backdoor cut to what stick and oh, DJ Tuchel forces a missed dunk. Killy! 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 That's one of those shots that you just uh, got to say, you know what, brother man, you got it. Because that shot is ridiculous. Oh, oh come there it again. is, Malik! Oh, I thought he hurt us. I cannot believe the shot that we just saw Killy take in that instance, and he greened it. Yellow contested. And, I mean, like, if I'm what stick, I, I'm, my composure levels right now, JT, are on E. I got no composure after that. A 31, like that shot was almost nonsensical. I get he has bad, but I. Moving around, gets on the inside, gets in the jump, scoops it up and in. I mean, that was an ugly game for Cavs Legion, but the shot of the night award goes to Killy for that pull up that he just had. I mean, a, a shot that looked like it had no business even getting close to going in. That was phenomenal defense. But doesn't matter. Cavs Legion strike first in game number one. As we head on over here, Lakers gaming, Blazer 5 gaming. Looks like B5 still rocking out there with Claude, Chaos, and May. Yeah, I don't, I don't, if, I feel like if they maybe lose their first full four series, I could sense a lineup change. But, that's all. We need more scooper layups. That's all. Awesome. Wide open? Interesting. I did not <laughs> think that was wide open. There's a lot of Who shots tonight heavy? that I've looked at. There, there's a lot of shots I've looked at tonight where I, I immediately look down to see the shot feedback. And I'm like, that was open? That was wide open? How wasn't that contested? Like the ones that are like 50% contested, I look at I'm like, wait, that was 50%? 
some of these shots from Cranville. Oh, that's why, bro. Easy work. Oh, well, it's not. Yeah. I'm telling you, I really liked it. Like, like I have to really go through the 3v3 lineups tonight. It's like, I, I just, I can't even name three I don't like. Three out of the 25. I can't name three teams to where I look at their lineup and I'm like, this isn't their best lineup. This lineup doesn't look soup like a lot of these teams look crazy. I think we're just we're at that stage of the league, right? Seven years in now that even with how hard it is to get into the league with how fewer spots there are, each year that goes by little by little, just more of those elite level players who maybe missed a draft or weren't old enough start to show up. So like now I feel like we, we, we really hit the peak. Like everybody who is elite is in this position. So looking through so many of the rosters, it's so hard to sit there and be like, oh, wow, he, these guys aren't good. Oh, they need to do this. They need to make these major changes. Like there's maybe only, I, I don't even say a handful, maybe that you can sit there and depending on what three slot they come out with, like, okay, they could run this better. Yeah, I, I need to really like look at the, like, you know, see how the rest of the teams on them go. Like, I'm definitely curious with the Sixers. Jaden has had a lot of success in threes, but I just don't see him sitting Dre. So, but it, but even if you don't sit Dre, Dre, what, Dre Gradient and DT? Like, Star the lineup. Like, who else hasn't played tonight that'll play tomorrow? I, Wizards? It, what, probably Benzo Aquardini? Um, I mean, for, for Dukes, is another one of those teams, right? Like, we saw Spam a little bit last year in threes. Wasn't anything too crazy. Um, Warnox is obviously probably going to start for that team, too. Um, but I'm wondering if, like, is it going to be a situation where if Spam maybe isn't the best of threes? Like, do we do we see Gazuli? I think we saw him a, a little bit last year in threes. Like, I'm maybe talking a series of him at guard. Wow. Killy lines up a 7% green, knocks it down. But I think that's um, something to keep an eye on, too, potentially, with, with a switch on that. Yeah, like, Genji, Gallo, Lawrence, and Jolo, Celtics, Leche, or 630, Tezo and Crazy, uh, Hornets, Trey Dollars, Luke Lock, and Big Saint. Uh, who else am I missing? NBL hit uh C's bag and flu Pistons Ant Connor and Joe Mar like it's like I promise like I don't I can't name three lineups that like make me scratch my head. Last year I could scratch my head at half the league. Different times, different times. Uh I did just see that T Wolves Gaming and Grizz Gaming um, is officially underway in the stream team tab. It's NBA 2KL Alt 2 if you want to go check out that matchup. A uh, good one between Tutak and Vandy squaring off. Yeah, T Wolves took game one, and Vandy should just hit a fade in the right corner. No oh, it's match. already started. Yeah, yeah, yeah. T Wolves took oh. game one. I'm late to the party. It was freaking, I should have called it. I'm just happy that I just seen Vandy fade in green. No badge. <laughs> no badge. I, I like every, it, Vandini. Every, every time I see somebody just like shoot a fade, I'm like, there's hope. Like little by little, there is hope. It's coming. It, it, it's just, I'm telling you, it's just comfortable. Like, like it's learning that release when tired, when you have one adrenaline boost, no adrenaline boost, two, three. When it's open, wide open, like it's just so many different things this year that dictate on how you have to release your shot. That's the first time I've seen what Killy just did tonight. The, the spam of the crossover to just get your way into the paint. Uh, he did end up missing those. It didn't truly work out. Yeah, it, it works. You just, you just gotta know what to do. What a pass. What a pass, Philly. Goes from low-key godlike last year to DJ Too Cold this year. And 
One thing they both have in common, excellent knockdown shooters. Probably feels right at home. Another play, that's an itty shot stick. See if, if he stays in, in his corner, the in and out works out for one of them. But since he came back to the top of the key, it made the in and out that Malik did not even work. Uh, Malik had a busy past couple days. I know that he met up with a member of the NYCFC um, EMLS, one of their players who represented them. Also met two esports players from Manchester City um, gaming sides. That's so all they got to, I think they gave him a jersey and everything too. They were at, at center court in Madison Square Garden. Yes, really. Like, they really uh, like are interested. Like, I still remember when we went to London, and I I cannot remember the team. I, I would have to go in my closet and grab the jersey. But I remember when me and Dave Fry met those two soccer esports players, and it was just like it was just so cool to talk to them and compare esports, like how they're the same, how they're different, and how just both parties thought the others was was cool and really like interesting to talk about how their life is could be stick oh and the shot for Kelly at 16 percent yeah. tough one yeah yeah we got to move there like we gotta like especially with the with the lock trailing since he he didn't pick the ball up we gotta get out the way we shouldn't be looking at screen man. He was about to flow game. Stick! <laughs> That's a big shot. I always forget that you and uh, you and Dave Fry flew over to England with the team. Yeah, a nice little charter flight. Sat on the plane the, the night before for like five hours because of the icing. And Dave Fry slept the whole time. When I woke him up, he was like, Oh, we're there? Uh, I'm like, no, brother. <laughs> we're going back to the hotel. <laughs> <laughs> he was done. He slept the whole time and we didn't move. That is, I, I think I everyone's had that experience one time on a flight that it, that is miserable when that happens. Oh, no, I I, I can't. Like, I, I would, I would, like, I, I just don't see there being a time where I can sleep five hours on a plane. <laughs> I just can't. I wish. I'm jealous. And I'm not scared by any means. I just can't. Oh, hit a button there. The, uh, the, the esports guys that you had met were from West Ham uh, team. Okay. Who just said it? Who just told you? Oh, I, I, come on, JT. I can do my research. I can pull it up. <laughs> I'm like, uh, I'm like, because I know you, you, you didn't you know that. <laughs> So he just kind of, I just typed in, Ooh. I went to Wizards DG and just typed in London. You, you popped up and I saw that and I was like, okay. As Killy, nice little layup from him. We're seeing Killy lay what? the ball off a lot. I wonder if, is he on an archetype potentially that has no dunking on it? Um, that's that's one thing. I just got my archetypes today, so I didn't get to do a whole lot of research on what they have. That'll be my homework for tonight. Yeah, mine is just loading up. You don't have a build? I do, but... I gotta remove some storage and I don't want to remove any storage. Oh, yeah, that thing is. Come Boy. <laughs> Boy. And Killy going for the game here. He won it. He won it. Get his little reset. It. Oh, yeah, he won it. Headset back off. Goes to the middle, pulls it Toast. back to Mo Murray. Killy knocks it down yeah. again. Two massive threes. For Killy to be able to put Cavs Legion on top, 2-0 in lead in the series right now at 12 points there in that game. Killy picking up right where he left off after that 3v3 championship coming into our 2024 season. We're going to go to a commercial break. We'll have game three on the other side. Potential sweep coming out here from Cavs Legion. Make sure to stay tuned in to see who's going to come out on top.
We are back with slam open coverage here. Last games of the night have all tipped off. This one currently in game number three. Um, if the Cavs win, it'll be a sweep. I haven't seen a whole lot of them here tonight, uh, but we talked about it, JT. The trend has been teams going down 2-0. They pull off game three, and then they end up losing game four. So they get all that progress done in the third game uh, to not be able to really force the game five or lose it game five if it goes there. I was about to say, have we seen one sweep? Let me go through and look. Um, yeah, the only sweep that we've had so far Far was the Raptors and Knicks game, which the Knicks swept the Raptors. Okay. Double check. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah I, I, I do. I, think I do remember things. that. Uh, actually, uh, no. uh, like Raptors stole a game. Like it was a game. Antoine Love went crazy, but. Could have been in is it the Nets game, maybe? Yeah, maybe, 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 maybe. Yeah, yeah, because uh, the, the Nets ended up winning the first two games, and I think Antoine Love went crazy in the third game, and then they ended up losing the fourth game. You can see game three, Cavs Legion GC up 2 nothing, and Malik will green it, but it's going to be blocked out of bounds by the Cavs. They start uh, getting a little bit more of a rhythm of trying to get that scooper to go, but I think it's almost predetermined and predictable because a lot of the times, like DJ Too Cold did this a lot last year, he drops anytime there's some sort of opening in the paint. Yeah, I know. I'm pretty sure he led the led threes and blocks in probably also led threes and block attempts because he'd be, he be down there jumping and if it was one thing i know he was dropping to do it he was dropping to jump not wall up get it to feast back out to malik just a three-point game as he gets the space takes the shot and that one's off he would have recovered get back in front as lakers gaming uh, they're up 20 to 14 
And the T Wolves currently have 12 to 9. I saw somebody in the chat said Vandy looks like the best guard possible. I'll have to go back and watch some film to see how much truth is being told in that statement. The best guard possible. That's a bold statement. It would have surprised me because he, when he's actually actively playing, he is one of the best threes guards in the entire world. But that's the, that's the thing when you got multiple games going on, right? We just got to believe what some people are saying in Twitch chat. And the record of Twitch chatters telling the truth is like maybe like one in ten. As he stepped through the in that game, but I, I, I can't knock it because I seen Vandy hit a. Hit a, hit a fade. I haven't seen a fade be hit yet. A three from Malik. All eight points so far here for New York. As it's with Killy. I mean, it, it's hard to put into words like how impactful the two shots that he took in those back-to-back -back games. Like the first one, the one that we thought was going to be smothered, like ill-advised, greened it. And then the second game hits a crazy shot. To, to be able to close it out. I mean, there's just some things that, you know, some guards can go out there and do, maybe some others can't, or just even, honestly, even the basic stuff, looking just a little bit more advanced, like, okay, like, why would you take that shot? Anybody else in that situation would immediately pass it away, but he's just so confident in his game. Like, that's been his story his entire 2K career. Yeah, he, he gets more confident by the year. Great pass. He gets more confident by the year. That's just what it what it comes down to because that's it's really step one step one of being the best you can be and being one of the best in the league is mental it is confidence it is just you knowing you're one of the best and you can compete with anybody that matters like your mental in this league matters it does dictate how you play and they will slowly walk it up TB the one to set the screen and quick crossover move on the inside gives him an open lane. He's been uh, it's so many guards today. Obviously, that is the move that is go to to try to open anything up in down low. As perfect read there coming out from TB on the scooper layup. Yeah, that's the same same thing. You ever watch me play theater? Um, I'm doing the same thing. I'm doing that move. Until you make me shoot. I do it every play. That is like the, a lot of my IRLs when I play them, they don't know about the scooper or how to activate it. So I'll just get Luka Doncic every single time. And as soon as I get a little bit of space, just just scooper. And they have no idea what's going on. As TV could almost close it out. But it's it, 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 honestly, I, I, I like the badge this year. Um, I, I really do. And just think it adds a different dynamic to speed up the layups because there's a lot of very slow layup animations. Yeah. And it's just, it, it, it's nice to watch some that's not a dunk. Yeah. It's nice to watch it's some crafty. because everybody, everybody can't dunk. And it's like watching smaller guards that can't dunk actually be able to still score. Cool. I mean, because if they... Like, that's the reason we like it so much is because if they were just going up with normal layups, that's getting punched time and time again as Malik takes a fade, can't hit it. And anything will win it here and be our second sweep of the night. TB for way yeah. downtown. <laughs> that's about you different. Wouldn't have been mad because looking, watching him back, he wasn't that far, but they need to, just, like a, they need to just get out the game. He was like a step in from the hash. As Killy will take the three from way down top. I mean, he did that all last year, too. So, three impactful threes coming out here from Killy. Uh, what a performance coming from him out of the series. But, yeah, you, JT, you're like, just play it smart. Killy's like, no, I'll take a three. Yeah, no, I, I just mean, like, get up, like, a good shot. It just seemed like they were trying to, like, do a little too much with all the badges, being up that much, trying to front run maybe a little bit. And that's where it's, like, just, like, Secure the win, take care of business, and get out of there because how this league build is played, and you know, we've seen it with yeah. that Warriors game. It just take a couple plays, it's like, oh man, we were supposed to win that. Now we lost that. Now it's a whole new series. So that was our featured matchup. Since that was a sweep, we got to take a deep dive into some of the other games that are going down right now. Careers and T Wolves as Bear to Beast. Oh, holy bulldozer. 
Boom. Bully ball. Coming through. And it was the T-Wolves taking that third game. So they are up 2-1 to one in the series. So we get to see Bandy cook up, showcase himself right here as that one, that one ends up falling in. I saw him. You remember the whole um, thing? I think it was season two where he got quoted that his nickname should be the Blue Meanie. You remember that? Yes, and I am not a fan, and I'm never calling him that. You know what's crazy, right? Like, we, we, we've we always labeled him the Great Vandini. Like, that's what I've always said since Season 2. I think Scott always said it Season 2. And I always thought the Blue Meanie thing that nobody was on board with it. He had a content piece about, like, what hairstyle he uses on the League build. And he says he likes to go with the Blue Mohawk because he got the nickname the Blue Meanie. And, like, there's no way you're crediting your hair to that nickname. There's just no chance. No shot. Oh, oh. Hey. I don't care who calls him that. I'm never called him that. Y'all want to? You know, you, Harris, Autumn, Jasmine. Uh, I will never production. call that man that. I, I'm, I'm, I'm not calling him that. I'm sorry. Like, you might have to pay me extra. That's the only way. I only will in roasting fashion. That's about it. Uh, by the way, Lakers up 2-0 uh, in this series. Oh, Kai with the steal. And Kai with the runaway slam. I think we'll see more of those two, not full point guard steals. But, but I mean, like, I feel like on these passes back to the guard, they're, very care they're fairly careless. It's just players aren't reaching. But I think as the, as the days go on, as time goes on, I'll just start reaching more at it because I'm literally watching them throw it back while the lock is right there when they can just literally hit square and it's a turnover. I, I think it's going to depend on who's the point guard on the other side of the controller. Um, Like, obviously, we, we've known Kai for so long now. Like, that man just, he knows how good he is. We know how good he is defensively. So he's going to be one of those guys that is 1,000% going to take gambles on passing lanes. And rightfully so. I mean, it, it just the way that he reads the angles historically, whether it's in 5v5s or, or 3v3s, has, has been probably one of the best that we've ever seen in the 2K league. Which I agree, but I've also seen him with lock. Like, I've seen locks, like the ball just go right by him, and they're just trying to play straight up defense. But it's like, I, I commend it. I commend the discipline, but it could really be a turnover if you actually try to sell it. 6-5 here in this one. Two box action. These are the only games that are going on here tonight. Well, because guess what? It's nearing the end of the night. If the Lakers win, yeah. it'll be a sweep in this one. And if the T-Wolves win on the right side, uh, that will be the end of the night as well. So that's just something to keep an eye out for. Chris Gaming trying to force this game five. And for B5, you need the reverse sweep. It would be our first one of the night if they can get it done. I wonder how many of those we'll see this year. I think I'm going to try to keep count. It's going to be so Good tough. Job, I don't know. I don't, I, don't, I don't think we'll have many this year. Do you think we'll have one this opening week? No. Shot. Oh, it's just, it's just, it's just clusters. They were supposed to get like two different threes up that play. <laughs> That's just being a menace. Yeah, he had the first one in the right corner. I see him Vandy working out here on the right side. He's got Igamo in the play now. Igamo does gamble on one reach. But Vandy's starting to dance. Pulls it back. Trying to shake off Igamo. Got the ankle breaker there for a moment. Forced it up. It's blocked by Igamo. 24 seconds. I don't, I don't, yeah, I just don't think. They can get a pass in, and yeah, it's a lot. The cam in the chat said the T-Wolves reversed the maps, I thought. Let me double check that. The sheet I'm looking at is hard to keep up with, but let's see. Yep, they did actually. So we stayed oh, corrected. The T-Wolves did reverse sweep. I just, I, 
It's because we couldn't see it. I remember we watched we watched game uh, four. We watched like the first two games, missed game three, and then game four was the game where Phantom shot that really deep shot with Badge to, to let it go oh, to game five. Oh, yeah. I'm going to be honest, when we jumped over there, JT, I didn't know where we were at. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, at all, at all. But I remember watching the first two, and then I definitely missed game three, which is why, which is why I thought it was a... Uh, Potentially over, but huh? uh, Hart puts that one up. That was a free board. As we jump back over here to the T Wolves and Grizz as Tutak, right down the lane. Pretty sure it's still the lone guy on a shooting guard build compared to all the point guards that we've been seeing here tonight. And Odon will take the two right back on the other side. Seventeen up. He posted the badge. Yep, he's one off. On the inside. The Big Evo. Pop in. Takes the shot. Can't get it to go. I've and seen just... a... Last game, he missed the three from almost the exact same era in the exact same play when he popped out there to the left. Yeah, man, that hurt because two tech is now probably Ooh. not one off badge now. Big yeah, he's a Bear, 78%. Man. And Bear got the steal, threw it away. Hits two tech's hands. Can he get it? He can. Bear comes up to set the screen, slips it. Odon right in front. They kick it back out to Tutak. No adrenaline, just stamina to work with. Igimo, Tutak, shots up, shot screen. I'm telling you, McGrady over a point guard, money. Good trust and good confidence by Tutak to take that. I mean, we know when you take a shot with no adrenaline, just the stamina, how much of a difference that can make on the impact of the timing. Honestly, nothing there in the catch issue between him and Iggy. As Icy will go up with it, throws it down. One point game. But we are in that series clinching territory right now for the T-Wolves. Tutak and Iggy Mo with their takeover. He's got Vandy on him. Walks it back. Pulls it back to half court. On the inside, pulls up in the mini, bailed out. I thought he got an one. I thought he got an one. I was about to lose it. All he can do is laugh after that shot and the bailout. Here he's got it. Vandy in front of him. Behind the back move. Trying to shake him off. Does for a moment. It's Iggy Mo to Bear. Back over to Iggy. Still plenty of time to work her, but things starting to get frantic here for Minnesota. Trying to barrel his way down to the inside. Iggy Mo fades. Iggy Mo can't get the green, and it's two talk. Breaking the box out of Vandy. Gets the rebound. That's the, oh, Bear won't Oh, this. Bear. Ooh, almost had it. Three seconds to work with. Tutak puts it up. Oh! He did it in retail. He's doing it in the league. The contested game-winning shot for the rookie. Hey, man. Mr. Heavy himself. Mr. Heavy himself with the mid. But he had bad, so I'm, I'm not I'm not mad at that corner over yeah. a over a point guard with badge like gamer really call it heavy I'll just call it contested. Add the add the T Mac onto it too, just just to make it even like okay yeah that, that, that's why I ended up hitting it. By the way, I mean offensive rebounds if you get that first initial positioning down low you are horsing. I think May I just saw had seven rebounds and so many of those offensive as soon as you get some bodies down there. I saw same thing. Rebounding the same thing. Like just have to have positioning with the box out though. Got 18-18. Lakers game. He take this game. They take the series. And that will close what has been a phenomenal opening night here in the NBA 2K League in the slam open. As Kai on the inside gets bumped by Chaos, forced to pick up his dribble. Crazy takes oh, a crazy. three high arcing and off. Crazy shooting, crazy. Insane. And this is for the game Morgan. from May. He knocks it down, and the series is extended. Crazy can't shoot that. Crazy cannot shoot that. That shot was, maybe it was a pump fake. That's the biggest benefit of the doubt. I'll give him that it was a pump fake, but a very early 44%. So in the game. 
Come on, Arshia. It almost like the very early makes it almost seem like a bailout that he didn't really want to shoot it, but at the same time, he looked committed. He didn't have, as soon as he got that ball, that shot was going up. It's almost like he maybe didn't expect it to bring him out to where he was. And then maybe that's where the panic. I don't know if that's the right word to throw on it, but Yeah, no, I'm 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 putting the ball back in Kai's hands. Unless I'm open. He wasn't open. Yeah. He wasn't close to open. Wasn't close to open. That's a booger. There we Front go. So said the chat. Four. That's commentary 101. Crazy took a crazy shot. That's all it takes to be a commentator. We said it a million times. <laughs> what? what? Oh. I think I said something a little different, but I'll go back. I think I said crazy shooting something crazy, but yeah. If you're wondering where's my team at, why aren't they playing? Uh, this is the last series of the night that we have going down between Lakers Gaming and Blazer 5 Gaming. Um, we're going to follow this through its complete conclusion. Uh, we have a lot of great games coming tomorrow, some debuts to the season coming out. I mean, we start off tomorrow at 6 p.m. with... Uh, Pistons and Magic, two teams that we put down as the, the best 3v3 rosters that we have so far. The ones that, if we're like fast forwarding in the season, what could potentially be a matchup in the finals? It's that. So I, I'm I'm super excited to see the the new look Pistons right with Jomar going in there and unguardable getting Jay Bullen to work with and probably the biggest pickup for 3v3. He's got low key godlike. No more having May on a pop and into an inside. They have a guy who is one of the best in the world right now. Uh, what he does out there with them in 3v3. Yeah, that team, that matchup, classic. Like, I, I almost want a game five out the gate. I know we don't wish for game fives on some nights. That's a game five I want to see out the gate. Maybe hey, we'll get it. I hope we do. And we are loading up this is game number four. Lakers gaming up two to one. We'll see if Blazer 5 can try to pull off to be our second reverse sweep. We had that first one, which we just learned about 10 minutes ago. Literally, because, huh? <laughs> I was so confused. Like, wait, really? <laughs> the boy. I was open. Go time. And May floats that one up down the baseline. It'll be the first points coming in the game from the Orlando, former Orlando Magic player. As it's with Kai now. Slow VC going to be the one to set the screens as, oh, okay, May just completely, I think he jumped over Kai there. Yeah, literally, but I'm not mad at it because Kai been stand dunking, doing all kind of things around the paint. So it's not a bad jump at all by May. He just, he was, he was behind, so he had to try to make up for it. I will tell you something. I mean, I don't know which lockdown has really stood out to you tonight in terms of it could be, I mean, bump steals, plucks, whatever it may be. TB has always been like the king of plucks to me. I mean, even remember before he got into the league, he was always playing on Big Rim's account, and that was when Big Rim's account had this aura about it that everybody wanted to use it because they thought it was just that much better. When they were just playing in their games, TB was ripping every thing from every guard whoever was on the floor each time Ooh. yeah uh, he was he definitely made a lot of plays for him over the last two years like a lot of plays like the where it's, it's just like hey look like he just wanted him once in this mode like and he's always in the dpoy conversation he doesn't always get a tendency of course but he's always like right there Bay, he could have, even though he could have touched it. Oh, he could have touched it. He could have touched past that right to claw it. They do get another chance at it. Forcing the turnover there off the rebound. As Claw stops, pops, and will green the shot. A 5% covered on there from VC. B5 looking good. We have an appearance in chat uh -oh. from Superstar. That's big. Oh, VC. Got an appearance in the chat from Superstar Autumn Johnson. Uh, she's going to be busy with her March Madness coverage coming up next month. Come on, Autumn? Whoa. 
TV. We're blessed by greatness. We're blessed by greatness. Not Autumn Johnson making a three show. Oh, we are blessed. By, we are blessed by greatness. We are not worthy. We are not worthy. Jeez, you just last year casually interviewing <laughs> Angel Reese and Caitlin Clark. Like, no big deal. I'm like, showed up for the very last game of a of like a four hour show. Like I said, we're, we're not worthy. We're just glad to be part of your schedule. Oh, good pullback good there by Claude and he greens again. I'm gonna give a shout to our guy Nate too. He's been hanging out in the chat all night long. I know he's excited when MBLLs Gaming takes the stage. Miss you too, Autumn. Miss you, miss you. Miss the whole team. I can't wait for our next in-person event, which is, oh, brother. I, I don't even want to say that out loud. Two months from now. Uh, Beep, how can you watch the T-Wolves? You can't because they already won. They are done for the night. This is the last series that is being played here on night number one of the Slam Open as Lakers game is slowly but surely bringing themselves back into this one. Three-point game now. Really like what I'm seeing from Claude with the confidence that he has to take some of these shots. But like him him playing threes all year this year will really benefit him down the line, not only in threes, but also in fives. I feel like he was robbed of that last season and it's no reason to rob him this season. I know a lot, a lot of people are big on you by being in the lineup somewhere. But unless he's trying to play lockdown, and they need a new lockdown and moving, sliding chaos down, I say you just leave Claude there and just let him grow. Let him really get that confidence and get that familiarity with the league build and just really, like, work on his game. Yeah, there, there's some teams where I'm a massive opponent. I'm like, you have to have your point guard playing. It's the most important position. Like, it's basically like a scoring boot camp over the next three months for you to be able to just, like, you know, get in your bag, work on your craft. And, but, like, there's some teams where I'm just like, okay, the shooting guard is just too good. Like, they, they have to be the ones playing. Um, for this, I'm happy that Claude is the guy. I know that, if anything, like, u -Bots would be the guy to put it lock. I don't think I'd bring Claude in or replace him at the guard position. But good to see it working out here so far. Still obviously got to close out the series. The work to be done as Claude will throw it down on an absolute tear right now. 15 points in the game. I'm bringing in, if I'm switching my lineup for Blazer 5 would be Claude, Baez, and Chaos. Not, I, don't, I just don't. Big of a fan of, I am a U-Bot, so I just don't, don't think he fits in this lineup. But that's particularly because of how they drafted. They draft, they drafted two shooting guards, not one lockdown. So it's like, that's error number one. That's Game time. Wow. I mean, a, a masterclass to be able to force it all the way to a game five perfection coming out there from Claude, 18 points of the game, seven to seven shooting, four four from behind the arc. Kai did not register a single three in that game, a rarity see him so now just one win away jt from b5 sweeping lakers gaming which is kind of crazy because historically it'd be like nah, if there was a organization or a team to to blow a lead like this it'd be the lakers but same thing could be said exactly about blazer 5 gaming last year too yeah it's like i don't when i look at this lineup it's like scratch my head a little bit but from what i'm seeing this threes lineup is is surprising me like chaos is playing good defense, he can shoot. May, he can shoot. He, he's also giving them second chance opportunities on the rebound. So it's just like, this lineup isn't as bad as I thought it would be. So it's like, they're competing, but competing and winning are two completely different things. So this game five is something they need to win. Yeah, it'll be fun to see. Blazer 5 just took that game to force that game number 5. This is going to be our last game of the night coming up after this commercial break. Don't go anywhere.
Well, it is officially time for the last game of the night at game five. Uh, what's on the line here in this one? Blazer 5 Gaming could complete their reverse sweep. And for Lakers Gaming, uh, definitely want to grab a win here just for the sake of sanity. You don't want to be one of those teams that's getting reverse swept on night number one, especially okay. how good they looked against Kingsguard Gaming, who they took all the way to four games and did end up coming out victorious in a battle for California. But a quick 5-0 start here for B5. Nice little dribble cancel block plot. See what Kai can do. They get it down to BC. He'll pull it back out. Now it's back over to Kai. He's got guard on guard matchup. Trying to get some space. The crossover straight into the two hand slam. Could be a big little statement win for Blazer 5, first night of the season. Be huge. That was open. Claude takes the shot, greens the shot. Oh, he is moving. Uh oh. Right now. <laughs> uh oh. He's figuring he says, Let's it get out. out of here. He's figuring it out. Crazy backdoor on Claude. And they bring it to four. But there needs to be some sort of like damage control done to Claude at this point because exactly what he was doing that game number two it is effortlessly transferring over sorry not getting to game number four is now transferring effortlessly here into our final game of the night just gotta yeah, try I to get like, the ball out of his hands and force somebody else to make a play i feel like we might see a second reverse sweep and it all comes down to a game three or game four bad shot like the mavs it was the fan of shot and the lakers it was oh, the crazy Bro. I I mean, you don't see a chase down get swatted all the way back to the other side of the floor very often. I'm talking about that ball didn't touch the ground until it was past the hash on the other end of the court. Insane. Oh, that is wild. I mean. Sorry, Dazon. So, yeah, let me turn that ball <laughs> down. There's just some things... 
There's just some things that you can't give a headphone user warning to, and that's a play that might happen for all the right yeah, reasons. Yeah, that's why one. Um, I, it's one thing I know about working with Dirk. Never turn my headphones too loud. Mm -hmm. You never know what'll it, come it might get you. a little. Yep, it might get a little spooky. He's moving. Oh, he could. He actually would have been open because that was Kai who would have had to get a contest. Ooh, mid range pull. That's back to back stops now coming out here from Lakers Gaming. That's a big profession. And Parky. BC slams it down. Tie game 8 8. All that passion. Yeah, Dirk is one of the most passionate people I know. Oh, May. A little deep. See, I. That one, like, it doesn't look like it's it's that far, right? But, like, I have yet to see a powerful without takeover especially knock that down. It's like that's that one little step behind the line. Definitely drainable. I thought about it. We'll get it to crazy. Good movement by VC on the flare up, and he gets it to go. Good pass. I just don't like the drop i'm not sure who did drop right there but eight eight leave it down by two if anything we're looking at claude may down the baseline i think it's just because they've been going to attacking claude side a lot more specifically with crazy so i think they wanted to sell out just thinking crazy was just going to be point hungry wanted to just get the score not looking to pass the ball and again back to back what? assist for crazy yep both leading to threes I'm talking about like somebody could be in that lane to hit a button, but that's that's tough because Claw just had a legacy game for us. So this like it's just like sometimes you gotta know who you're who you gotta fight for. And with a game for he just had, you gotta pull them shorts up and just go to war. A rookie with one of the more impressive showings that we might see in a debut forgive justin in the chat and ask what the series is this is game number five uh, if b5 win they will complete the reverse sweep and if the lakers up by two a chance to make it some more here kai now pushing on the inside and gets the scoop with the left hand and chaos can do nothing but just rock back and just smile off it played some great defense but just the animation more beneficial going over towards kai and claude comes right back with one of his own where's batch oh claude uh-oh big 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 possession for, for, for blake with our game if they could get a stop here and claude has batch huge gets the first couple bumps and Claude bumps VC, and it's going to be May actually knocking the ball away. VC knocks it right back to him. That's tough. That's so tough. And VC with the left hand gets it to fall. Crazy part is, I feel like Claude could have stole that. Or or at least tipped it. That pass down low off that cut. He was like right there. Well, it's got the mismatch. He's got the takeover. You know he's got a three in mind. That's why Kai's playing so up on him. Will force him on the inside for the two. Smartly so. Kai now finds VC back door. And just playing this one so smart down the stretch. Not trying to force anything up. Claude from way it's downtown. Open. No, it was open, but it was slightly early and a smart foul there by May. That's huge. That's huge. They still needed a stop, but it would have literally made it a one point game. And he has badge. So even if they get a stop there down one, he has the best badge to actually get up a three. Kai now a chance to close it out, forces it up, bailed out entirely i've seen one too many of those oh, what what just happened <laughs> how did crazy just get that wide open I, mean, I, I guess it was don't lose to a two which which i'm not too mad at it's just like that's tough you know this is why i play the five again they fought scratch and fall they actually fought nothing to say oh. 
it's so draining making all that progress forcing it to a game five playing a close game and then not coming out with the victory uh, but what a phenomenal night it has been but don't worry week number one continues tomorrow let's take a look at the schedule um, we already talked about the 6 p.m. game that's going to be going down. I think everybody's eyes are going to be glued to this. Pistons GT and Magic Gaming to kick things off on Thursday. All these games will be best of five as well. Then we swing it into the 6.45 p.m. tip-offs. We will get to see the new-look MBL Oz Gaming take on Hornets Venom GT. Get to see what Trey Dolls is going to bring to the table. C's now being with MBL Oz Gaming and that side. And also Kai gets to take on this Lecce led Celtics crossover gaming. The 730 Magic Gaming back in action again. JT, another fire matchup. I mean, they, they basically gave Magic Gaming the two best games possible. They get Pistons and then the Gen G Tigers in that matchup. Fireworks. Oh, I like it. Uh, I like it. It's just like if you want to be the best, you got to beat the best. And, and if you want to be the best, you got to kind of take out everybody. So tomorrow is just like full of star studded matchups even looking at that that other 6 p.m that nets calves like this is gonna be a crazy night and of course uh, there was dukes infinitos and 76 or gc at 7 30 and that is more than likely going to be the debut of the first ever french player in the nba 2k league warnocks then we go down the schedule here at 8 15 we'll see b5 jazz back in action of course benzo making his debut how could we forget the number one overall pick you see all the matchups at nine lakers and warriors sure to have some fireworks as well as mbl laws gaming and gen g jt final thoughts here on night number one i like what i've seen i only seen what once two sweeps two sweeps out of a million games and every time it was looking like it was going to be a sweet team's fault. So as long as I, I see fight out the gate on day one, it shows me that you'll fight for the rest of the season. Hopefully. Hopefully. But it was a great night again. I'm, I'm happy for it. Happy to be back. Happy to be up here with my dogs, my duo. So it should be a great year. Yeah, going to be a fun one. We're going to be back tomorrow. Well, I was about to say right early. Late in the day, I guess you could say. And we start off a lot more earlier. 6 p.m. Eastern time is when we will tip things back off for day number two of group play of the NBA 2K League 33 Blacktop Series. Slam open. I'm Dirk Dash JT. We'll see you guys tomorrow at 6 p.m. Eastern time for some more NBA 2K League action. Okay, okay. Uh, uh. I cannot be baited. I stay in rotation. Yeah, I'm on another level. My chef got a different. My head is different. Just watch how I split the double. Let's go. I'm not a fluke, I'm packing my stats, I'm averaging triple doubles. I'm trying to level up, level up, my level is way, way, way up. I'm trying to level up, level up, my level is way, way, way up. I'm trying to level up, level up, my level is way, way, way up. I'm trying to level up, level up, my level is way, way, way up.
cicatrices, que has curado cicatrices, cicatrices. En la vida me he enchulado y como tú no hay nadie más, tú un porro y los demás, jamás.